we're on here five minutes too that's funny okay so we're live it's going to make sure that we are live i'm going to get the facebook live going as well on the group welcome if you're just joining us now on the facebook i can see we're live just going to set that up as well so welcome officially to how to build a 20. it's going to shut that down uh welcome officially to how to build a 20k a month online uh, coaching, consulting, or agency business. You guys know me, I'm Jason Grossman. We had some tech issues between the SMS automation and a second link, but we made it. We're only a couple of minutes late. Thank you for your patience. Guys, if you're watching on the Zoom, thank you for taking the time to join us. You just share in the chat box where in the world you are, what kind of business you have, and what you're looking forward to most. And if you're on the Facebook, just comment if you're watching live or replay. Also participate, engage as well. Uh, there you go, because you can record growth. It's, but this is being live streamed into the Facebook group anyway. So I'd, I'd suggest don't waste your time. I'd actually, I normally just deny that because because I think it's a waste of time to record this because it'd be live streaming the Facebook groups easier for you to watch it in there anyway. But I'll allow you, Vikas, as a valid client, this one time to do that. So so I'm excited to spend a couple of hours with you guys now um, to create a personalized roadmap for you to add 20000 a month to your business. So let's quickly check in with who we've got on the Zoom. Uh, Stacy Charlie, welcome. We've got Vickers Rehab and Wellness. Want to know how to help more people. I love that. Fred, Digital Agency Melbourne, welcome. Kerry, Melbourne, Australia, online coaching, building and learning more to make more impacts. Fred, tips to get more clients. Who doesn't want tips to get more clients? Rachel, Oregon, Oregon, USA, visionary business architect, a VBA. I love that. Consulting business growth and development for startups, coaches, and entrepreneurs. Michael Barnes, no, uh, Michael Barnes, Building Life uh, Foundations, uh, Oklahoma, Life Coach, helping people who have never had the proper raising, most people have uh, have never had, yep, most people have had, Pip, hey, how are you going, Life Coach, horse riding instructor, instructor, I love that, Stacy, Florida, I love Florida, spent eight days in Orlando, Florida, a few years back, did Disney New Universal Studios with Harry Potter World was just, it was mind-blowing, it was uh, actually really cool. Charlie, Redland Bay, Queensland, online coach, breast cancer, ladies, confidence and courage, speak up and heal their way working with medical professionals, not bullied by them. No, no. Stacy launching a magnetic mind coaching biz. We've got a fair few of you magnetic mind guys in the community now, which is awesome. Uh, I figure I may as well launch it Jason's way. Yeah, big. If you're going to do something, may as well do it big. Aim small, hit small, aim big, hit big. As Les Brown says, Shoot for the moon. If you miss, you land among the stars. It's corny as hell, but I do love it. Adrian, thanks for the invite. Welcome, brother. Kelly, Canada. Coaching others with multiple sclerosis to find energy and get more active. I love it. Uh, I do have the Facebook open as well. Feel free to interact on there. So a little bit about today. We have a pretty small group. 187 people registered and it is 19 on the call. So to those of you on this call, uh, thank you for taking the time to show up. I appreciate you. I'm not being paid to be here. You're not paying to be here. But we are paying with something that's more valuable than money, and that's our time. So I respect, appreciate you for your time, for your commitment to yourself and to this session. And I'm going to do my best, add tremendous value to you. And if you've been to any of my trainings, like most of you have, you know, I leave no, I, I, I leave, <laughs> I, I put all my cards on the table. I give my best stuff away for free. Um, and uh, if you truly do have the goal of adding 20,000 a month to your business uh, consistently in the next six months, I'm, I'm going to give you the roadmap to do that. And it's not cookie cutter. I'm not going to go, this is the best way, because there is no best way, right way, wrong way. There's only the best way for you. However, I am looking for the fastest way that is sustainable, fast and sustainable. Fast is fun. Slow is painful. Yeah. But we do want to be patient with results, but impatient with activity. Uh, for those that become an avid student of my content, just like Jim Rohn, not that I'm comparing myself to a legend like Jim Rohn, but just like Jim Rohn, he has a lot of one-liners. He has a philosophy that he uses repetition because repetition is another of all skill. How do we learn timetables? What's three times three? Nine. Yeah. What's six times six? 36. What's 17 times 17? Yeah, they didn't teach us that one. How do we learn the timetables? How do we learn the alphabet? How do we learn the fundamentals, which were the building blocks to apparently life, right? To communication. 
in math to English repetition. So today, that's what it's about. It's about the fundamentals, the evergreen stuff, the objective stuff, the stuff that you need to get to 20,000. Um, so it's not necessarily a strategy or a process compared to everyone else's, an objective roadmap that I believe is the fastest, most sustainable way. And it can be personalized and tailored to each of your businesses. Okay. Uh, so, you know. My intention for today is very simple is by the end of this is for each of you to have a clear roadmap of your path from where you are now to $20,000 months in six months. That's simple. By the end of the day, you'll have your own roadmap to do that. Okay. Now I'm giving you a roadmap to add 20,000 a month. And we're going to do that in, I, I think we can do it about two and a half, 245. I'm going to aim to do it in about two and three quarter hours. Now let's be brutally honest. Can I give you everything to build $5,000 a week in under three hours? Probably not. But here is my promise to you. And what I can give you is the checkpoints. I can give you the checkpoints that you need to move to, okay, to work out how to get your end goal, get clear on how many clients you need, how much you're charging, what products and services, what team you need, so you can reverse engineer it, and you know the checkpoints, and you can just play the game. You can play the numbers game to build 20K. Because most people just throw spaghetti at the wall and hope that some shit sticks, right? Who can relate to that? Right? No, you don't. We don't do that. And you guys have heard me use the metaphor a lot that a huge mistake mistakes online business owners are making or business owners in general they're building the business like this you get a jigsaw puzzle you tip it out on the table you throw the cover away you do not look at what the puzzle looks like finished and then you're trying to put the pieces together and you have no idea what it even is who can relate to that yeah so you need to go this is what it looks like finished this is the revenue this is the pricing this is the products and services the sops is the team this is what i need and that's what today is then we can reverse engineer, create the checkpoints, work out the numbers, and play the numbers game rather than the emotional roller coaster game. Okay. So we're going to uh, talk about those numbers, create that roadmap. We're going to talk about mindset because what's the biggest thing stopping you from building to 20,000 a month? What's the biggest thing from stopping you from building to building 20,000 a month? Yourself. Our greatest enemy is our inner me. Our greatest enemy is our inner me. Okay, I love that saying, right? Our mindset. Everything you have in your life right now is a direct reflection of your thoughts, your thinking, your inner world, the way you perceive, reflect, deflect, whatever. Projection is perception. Perception is projection. It actually works both ways. So what are you projecting? So if you want to create more financial abundance, we need to raise your unconscious money blueprint what we call your financial thermostat we're going to touch on that and there's a few tweaks we need to make to your psychology because the how to get to twenty thousand is only a portion of it because i can give you world-class marketing strategies world-class sales systems but will that guarantee your success it, it won't right I, I i spent time a lot of years as a personal trainer if i'm a personal trainer and i give you a meal plan and a fitness plan does it guarantee your success it doesn't right what guarantees your success is your thoughts and feelings about it, your behavior about it. And that's what success is when you align your thoughts, your feelings, and your action. Thoughts and feelings is the law of attraction. Your behavior is the law of action. Law of attraction plus law of action equals your dreams, equals your goals, equals success, whatever that might be to you. Okay, so we're going to touch on that. Uh, we're also going to talk about... Um, the sales SOPs that you need before you begin your business, you need to refine your sales systems. So that way it's not going to be as easy for you to sell. That way it's not going to be as hard rather for you to sell. So your sales scripts, your sales process, your avatar, your niche, your messaging, pitch deck, we're going to talk about that. Once we have that, now we can launch. Massive mistake people make is they do not do a proper launch. We're going to talk about a powerful launch process. And why you always want to start with one-on-one -on -one coaching or a one-on-one -on -one service first. Once we do that, the only thing, and each we just have each level brings a new devil. So each checkpoint, you have one main focus. The main thing is to get the main thing, the main thing. Each checkpoint, you have one main focus. The main focus, okay, when you refine your sales SOPs, then you launch. Once you've launched, your main focus now is there's only one thing that's going to slow you down from building your business more and faster. Most of you probably already know this. I say it all the time. Who knows? 
You know, anyone know me say that before? Once we launch, there's only one thing. Okay, you've 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 done the mindset, you've refined the sales systems, you've done the launch. At this point, what's the one thing stopping you from growing more and faster? So lack of quantity and quality of if your hint starts with A. Does anyone know? Anyone remember? Does anyone watch my content? A lack in, a quantity and quality of appointments. So I'm going to share with you what you need to be able to get books all over with appointments. Then I'm going to talk to you about how to launch group coaching. Who wants to be able to do group coaching or is doing group coaching? Okay. Or who's tried doing group coaching and kind of failed miserably? Here's another one. Yeah, I'm going to show you how to book groups of coaching solid uh, every time. And then, of course, if you want to build to 20,000 a month, if you're a one-man band, that's fine. You can do it all, all on your own. But if you do, you, you technically have a job. Who wants to get so busy you can't be any busier? Get book solid and have no help. Does anyone want that? I don't think anyone wants that. So he goes like, yes, yeah, I don't know. Well, we all want to get book solid because step one is, we'll talk about this in the group coaching program. Step one is get book solid. Step two is create leverage through scalability, through uh, team, um, passive income streams, et cetera. And then third step is complete freedom, right? So these are the steps. So you kind of get your book solid on the way to that journey. Book solid, leverage, freedom. But nobody wants to stay at that point, right? Um, and then at the end, I'll be really honest, I'm going to make a ridiculous offer to just two or three of you, um, which many of you guys are already involved in. Um, and because at the end of this, you're going to have the checkpoints, but how do we move through those checkpoints? How do you personalize and navigate your way, your personal journey? Because everyone's going to be a little bit different through these checkpoints. And I'm going to give two or three of you an opportunity to be a part of that at the end. Okay. Uh, yes, this is being recorded, so we're live streaming this into the Facebook group. So if you've got to jump up early or uh, something happens, you have access to the live. After this, it will be pinned to the top of the group, like all of our workshops, and you can watch this, come back to it at any stage. Uh, there will be some free resources. I think there's about a handful of free resources. Uh, so today is Saturday, my time. So tomorrow, Sunday, I'll upload the these slides will be up into the group the free resources will be put into the group and i want to do my best to add tremendous value to you uh, is there anyone here for the first time is there anyone here that's this is your first ever training of mine you've been attending anyone this is your first one pip i think maybe pip stacy is your first training or oh, you're in for a treat so stacy is already aware of this i talk fast okay people say you should talk slower i'm like no you should just listen a bit faster why i talk fast a few reasons number one I'll be honest, I'm super excited about this because this will change your business and your life if you implement it. Knowledge is not power, it's the application of knowledge. I'm going to give you the knowledge, I'm going to give you the strategy, I'm going to give you the tools you need, but then you've got to go and execute it. You cannot just sit there and manifest, you cannot just walk out to your, as Tony Robbins say, you walk out to your yard, your grass is brown, it's dead, positive thinking is not enough, law of attraction is not enough, close your eyes. I'm manifesting my grass is going to be green. When I open my eyes, grass is going to be green. It's going to be getting good. Oh, it's still brown. You've got to do the work, okay? You've got to do the work at the end of this, right? The second reason I talk fast is I want to squeeze in as much value as possible and give you your, uh, when I say your money's worth, you've paid with time, which is more valuable than money. So even though this is free money, you're paying with something that's a lot more valuable. So who wants to get the most out of today? Like who wants to learn a lot and get the most out of today? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, right? I have a saying: if you want to out earn me, you've got to out learn me. I'm obsessed with learning, personal development, studying, researching, growth. Uh, Charlie says, "What my magic wand doesn't work? Your magic wand does work if you work." I'll say that again: your magic wand does work. Um, Expelliarmus. <laughs> I can't believe I remember a Harry Potter uh, reference. Expelliarmus. Um, your your wand, your magic wand, definitely does work, but only if you work. So it's not the wand; it's the magician. Okay, uh, Stacy, you're good. I think my subconscious will take notes. Your subconscious, yeah. You, well, your conscious can sit down, and your subconscious can take over right now, right? So 100, percent yeah. Fred, me, yeah, nice, nice. Because me, Stacy, me, awesome, cool. By the way, I have a lot of fun. I like to have fun. So sometimes I like to goof around because if we're not enjoying the journey, if we're not enjoying the process, then we're not going to stick at it anyway. I did a post last night about that. People give up. They hire a VA for 30 days. Oh, it doesn't work for me. They do one webinar. Webinars don't work. They do a couple of posts. Posting doesn't work. Right? And then they become this victim 
But we're all self-made. We're all self-made, but only the successful will admit it. Who's heard the term self-made millionaire before? You guys heard this? Yes, this is the pre-framing section, especially, especially for NLP. But when's the last time you heard self-made broke person? Yeah, I'm a self-made homeless person. I can say that I've been homeless multiple times. I've been very broke, very broke. So broke, I couldn't eat food for three days. Once I was so broke that I had to get uh, uh, where I was living at the time, all that was in the cupboard was flour and water. And I mixed it together, put it in the oven, cooked it, and we call it damper in, in Australia. I didn't even have put anything, anything to put on it. That's how broke I was. So I know what it's like to be broke. But I, you know, it's like pain is a given, but suffering is a choice. Things might happen where we end up homeless or we end up broke or we end up, something happens, but staying there is a choice. We can choose. When Jim Rohn says, we're not a tree. If we don't like where we are, we can move. Yeah. Charlie, mine is definitely an implementation problem. Yeah. And this is where VAs, this is where accountability comes in. We'll talk about that today as well. The error between the chair and the keyboard. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Cool. Um, so today I am going to give you checkpoints. Um, so today I'm giving you the roadmap. So here's the roadmap for the next six months. So we've got a couple of hours and in a couple of hours I'm going, here's a six month roadmap. Are you going to feel overwhelmed in the next few hours? 100%. You bet your sweet cheeks you're going to feel overwhelmed. You're not feeling overwhelmed with value that I'm not doing my job. Okay. So it's natural to feel overwhelmed because it's a six month roadmap, but your journey begins after this workshop. Okay. That's when the implementation, the execution, the action, that's when you begin to use your magic wand. Okay. There's going to be times you might feel a little confused. If you study NLP, who are my NLPs? Are there any NLPs here? If you study NLP, you'll know that confusion is just the brain creating new neural path pathways. And confusion is a great state. You know why? It's the learning state. If you feel confused or overwhelmed, it means you're about to learn something. So get excited if you're overwhelmed or confused. It means you're learning. And if you're really confused and overwhelmed, it means you're learning a lot. <laughs> okay. Uh, Tony K, Master NLP Trade. Yeah, Tony's brilliant. Awesome. Great to have you here, Charlie. Yeah, Tony, those guys are amazing. Um, and they're, they're definitely after, uh, yeah, after the last few years with, so I won't mention names of somebody passing away and then somebody else stopping. Um, they've really been able to fill the void and step in. And there's a couple of big, big companies now, but they're definitely the lead, leading the way right now. So it's great to see them doing what they're doing. Um, yep, yep, awesome. Let's keep moving forward. So who's today for? So obviously we've got you guys that are business coaching clients or group business coaching clients. For those in the group business coaching program starting next week, this is kind of like, uh, like a crash course in what we're doing the next six months for you guys. So there will be some revision, there'll be some new stuff, but this will really paint a clear picture. So by the time we start the group program next week, as I was mentioning to Michael, you guys are doing a pre-study right now. You don't have to execute anything. You're just in information absorption phase. You're just absorbing, you're reading the playbook, you're absorbing the video content, the modules, listening to my audio, and you're just becoming a student of the content and letting me get in your head, okay? Build your belief, build your desire, giving you the strategy and preparing you. So you're being prepared, just like right now. And uh, you'll know this, Charlie. Right now, this is called pre-framing. Okay? Tony Robbins is a master of pre-framing, right? That's why he spends like an hour on one piece because he understands that, I understand the power of this workshop. This could be the most impactful workshop you've ever been to. And I'm not saying I'm better than Tony Robbins or any of that, not even close. The reason why this can be the most impactful is because none of you are making $20,000 a month right now. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. And if you implement these strategies, you will. This workshop will change your life if you make the decision and choice for it to. Okay, but I can't do that for you. I'm going to do my job to the best of my ability, give you the motivation, give you the, uh, give you the strategy, give you the accountability, give you what you need uh, to go and do the work. And some of you will. Yeah, some of you won't, some of you will. Some of you will do nothing after this workshop and in six months be in the same place. Some of you will do a little bit and you'll make a bit of money, but a few of you will just make an all-in decision and go stuff it. I'm just going to have trust, belief, and faith. I'm going to go all-in. Not for Jason, not on this content, but for myself, for my family, and for my clients. And you know what's going to happen? You, you can, you're going to do it. You're going to you're going to build 20,000 20, a month above and beyond. Okay. I actually have notes. Can you believe that? 
So uh, if you don't have pen and paper, highly recommend you grab pen and paper, take lots of notes. Um, if you are a business coaching client in a one-on-one -on -one program or a VA client that's been exposed to this content before, uh, remember what I said about repetition. You know, when you are, uh, have you ever watched a movie multiple times and every time you get something new? Have you ever had that experience? Or have you ever, ever read a book and every time you read it, you draw a new conclusion or new information? Have you ever had that happen before? Because right now, you're not the same person as a year ago, six months ago. In fact, right now, you are not the same person as you were when we started this workshop. We're constantly, the digestive system realigns itself cellularly every three to five, uh, every three to five days. You know, the other organs like the liver and kidney every three or so months, um, the skin every 12 months. Within two years from now, we even know the brain does it. Within two years from now, pretty much every cell in your body will be different. So you will be a different physical being in two years. Isn't that crazy? So we're constantly changing. So uh, I remember going to a Tony Robbins event a few years back and Tony's like, who here wants to learn and get the most out of today? You know? and like, actually, who wants to learn and get the most out of today? Well, I showed him. So you guys want that? And he said, well, if you want to learn and get the most out of today, you've got to empty your cup. And we're like, oh, we've all heard that. And so if you really want to learn and get the most out of today, so you actually get a result after this workshop, there's three words that you need to recognize. And if you think them will destroy any chance of learning, growth, and change afterwards. We all lean forward and we're like, what are these three words? And he said, whenever you whenever you hear content or information, maybe you know, because some of the stuff you hear today, you'll know and do. Some you'll know and not do. And some will be new to you. But some of the stuff that you've heard, if you hear these three words in your own mind, your conscious will stop paying attention and you're going to miss out. And Tony said, the three words are, I know that. Whenever you find yourself in your mind thinking, I know that. I've heard this. I already know this. Catch that. Thank your mind for that, but put it aside because you want to empty your cup and come in with a student. You're here for a reason. And if you if you want to get the most out say, you want to be a sponge. And what does a sponge do? It absorbs. You want to absorb all the information from today. Okay. And you want to be like a parachute. And the mind is like a parachute, it only works with one. It only works with open. So be a sponge. Be open-minded, absorb the information. And then at the end, you can take the content information and take what works or whatever, and then you can execute from there. But for the next few hours, get comfortable, breathe, drink, trust, be open-minded, be a sponge, and just allow the content to flow into you. And then you can do what you want with the information later. Sound good? Tony would say, say I at this point, but I won't do that. All right, cool. I think we're about ready to get started. Yes, yeah, so if you don't have pen and paper, grab pen and paper, take lots of notes. And I think that's it. Recipe good, good, good. Uh, now, if you are a VA client, I think you're going to find this very useful as well because a lot of this content isn't really covered in what we do with VAs as well. So um, who we got on here? Chat box. Okay, Michael, see you soon, brother. Have a great weekend. Yeah. Oh, if you guys have any questions at any stage, yes, I can multitask. Okay, just post them or ask them in the Zoom chat and I'll answer them live. Um, is the Facebook Live working good? Or... Oh, we got Joe on the Facebook Live. So if you're on the Facebook Live, say hi as well. If you have questions, post in the Facebook Live, post them on Zoom chat and I'll answer them. So, so as we get started, I want to ask everybody a question. A couple of quick questions as we get started. First question is, why, and, I, and, I, and I'd like to invite everyone to answer this in the Zoom chat if you're on Zoom or the Facebook chat if you're on Facebook, even if you're watching replay like three months from now. Why is it so important? Because the money's cool, but it's not about the money. But why is it so important for you to make $20,000 consistent income a month and six months? Why is it so important to you? Take a moment to think about that, write that down. And if, if you feel a calling to, share it in the uh, chat. Let's take a moment for that. Why is it so important for you? Why is it so important for you? So you've ever heard your, you know, your why. Your why is what drives you. I believe the why is the fuel for the fire, motivates us to jump out of bed, build unstoppable momentum, take massive action, and transform our dreams to reality. Some people say our why, W-H-Y, is what hurts you. 
I think it's twofold. It's moving away from the current pain, the things we do not like, and towards the pleasure, the things we want like bridging that gap. It's what we do as coaches. But getting clear on our why is definitely a huge driving factor. Stacy, freedom to do what I want and the ability to help others in need. I love that. Rachel, more time and fun and adventure. Hey, adventure. Just reminds me of Bill Bo Baggins, Lord of Rings. I do love adventure. Family, freedom, security. Laurie, the unstoppable and freedom lifestyle. Hey, I like it. Be unstoppable. Why is it so important? And by the way, you can participate or not. It makes no difference to me. At the very least, write it down for yourself. Now, this is the first thing I've asked you to do. And if you're not doing it and you're sitting there going, it's okay, I'll just think it. Jason can't see me. It doesn't matter if I write it down or not. You're, it makes no difference to me. Do whatever you like. You're, I'm here for you. Like I, it, That's your success. But if you're not prepared to take a moment just to write down and answer a couple of important questions for you, then how the heck are you going to be able to build 20,000 a month? Yeah. Some people say the way we do one thing is the way we do everything. I don't know about that because I don't eat and make love the same way, but I, I understand the <laughs> I understand the philosophy. Kerry, as above and to help retire my husband. Yeah, let's do it, baby. Debbie, for me, it's about the freedom to be with my grandchildren and financial security. I love that. Vickis, reflection that I am providing consistent value to others. Pip, safety, security, sharing my life purpose, connecting people to... Uh, oh, to be the you you came here to be. I also I love that. Hey, Jade, how you doing? It's great to see you. I'm a health coach, have a mission to help bring clean water to communities that don't have it. Nice, I love that. Yeah, awesome. Dane, hey, brother, good to see you here. Impact more lives and spend more time. See the world, heck yes. Nay, talk my language. Jada can make a change. Fred, freedom and more time. Charlie would be great just to feel like I've made it. The funny thing about that is when you've made it, you have another goal and then you don't feel like you've made it. So you, go through, you kind of go through this groundhog day of never feeling like you've arrived, which is interesting. But I, yeah, 100%. It does feel good when you set a goal and you accomplish it and you recognize it and you celebrate that. We'll talk about that. Yeah, awesome. Every, everybody, thank you for participating. Felicia on Facebook. Welcome. If you're on Facebook, I, I do have the Facebook Live. I can communicate and interact. See, some men can multitask, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to work these bad boys on. Yeah, awesome. Okay, let's begin, shall we? Okay, so, oh, wait, I have a couple more questions for you. Next question is, I want to ask you, like, what would it really mean for you personally to be able to achieve that? So what you just wrote down, that's awesome, let's do that. What would that really mean for you personally to be able to do that? What would that really mean for you personally to be able to do that? Take a moment to write it down and feel the calling. Feel free to share it in the chat, Facebook or Zoom as well. What would it really mean for you to be able to do, achieve that 20,000? How would it change your life, impact your life? You know, Kerry, Kerry said here, that really uh, resonated with me, what Kelly said here. Uh, sorry, Kerry said here, uh, to retire your husband. So retiring your husband is the thing, right? It's the feature, but what's the benefit? Like, what does that mean? It means you get to spend time together. It means you get to cattle more. gets get to have breakfast together. What what does it mean to be able to retire your husband? What How will that change your lives? How will that change your connection and bond? What are the kind of things you'd be able to do together? What, what does it really mean for you? Because when you get clear on, okay, it's 20K, why that's important, what it means, you add that emotional muscle to it, it becomes even more important, yeah? Uh, well, okay, they're coming up fast now. Okay, really fast. Let me find them. Uh, Jade, personally, this would lift my soul and continue to live in abundance. Like, yes. Adrian, I care for my niece full time. Oh, wow. Earning money while helping others would be a dream. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, much respect, brother. Pip, personally, that I lived my power, tapped into my sovereign abundance. Yeah, sovereignty. We can never have too much sovereignty and abundance, I think. Fred just gives you more choices. <laughs> I'm not sure we need more choices sometimes. I think that's the problem. Sometimes we have too many choices, but uh, under freedom of choices, it does feel good. The freedom to be able to choose what you want. What you want, when you want, how you want, with whoever you want, anytime you want, any way you want. That's awesome. 
this is a great metaphor one of my mentors once said to me is said that most people with a broke mindset walk into a restaurant and they look at the price first and then they choose what they're going to eat or drink who does that be honest but when you're free you walk into a restaurant and you look at the food or drink and you choose what you want to eat or drink without even recognizing the price i did this about a month ago I took my partner out to a restaurant we bought a bottle of Dom Perignon and the bill came. It was 1100 bucks for the bottle. I was like, well, okay, I'm not buying a bottle of Dom from wrestling. And that's what I wanted in that moment. We're having a beautiful moment. We were bonding. It was a, a romantic setting. And that's what we wanted. So, and I know that's a superficial example, but it's a metaphor for what Fred's talking about, freedom of choice. Yeah. Rachel, living on purpose and intentionally less stressed. Uh, who would like less stress? You know, yeah. financial freedom. It's financial freedom is not about the money. It's about removing the stress from bills and everyday expense, so you can go and live your dreams, pursue your passion, give your gifts, do things you love. Quantum virtual assistance for me, I make no money from it. It's a legacy business for me. It's really spiritually rewarding, providing livelihood and jobs for Filipinos. We're about to do fundraising charity for orphan children. We don't have to think about the money. It's just a really beautiful place to be. Debbie would mean that I never miss out on another special day. Of your nine grandkids with nine grandkids there's probably lots of special days it's like there's like a full-time job being a grandma i imagine uh kerry see my grandkids more i live in w yeah be able to do it awesome thank you so much for sharing so this isn't just about the money this isn't just about your business this workshop is about your life it's about your dreams it's about the things that keep you awake at night yeah that's what this workshop is about so as we begin the journey, let's talk a little bit about mindset. I need to speed this up a little bit. We spent a lot of time on that, but I think it's really important. I want to invite you to recognize just how important this is. Now, the first, the, the first thing I want to do in regards to uh, mindset is there's a few things I need to. So I'm about to give you the strategy, the sales, the marketing, the things you need, the roadmap, the checkpoints. I'm going to give that to you. Take the thinking out of the business stuff. But there's some things I can do for you. And the first thing is, is there's two things that you need to do that I cannot do for you in order for you to be successful. And the first one is you've got to make a decision, an all-in decision. That right now, when I when we talk about 20000 a month, I want you to recognize, do you feel certain it's going to happen? Do you feel sure it's going to happen? Do you believe it's possible? Do you believe you can? Because until you do these two things, you're never going to achieve it. So six months from now is, what is six months from now? What's the date from six months from now? Like exactly. So uh, let's go calendar. How do I change this to monthly? Calendar, how do I change this to monthly? Today? Right. How do I change my calendar to monthly? Oh, here, up here. Okay. Month. Okay. So six months from today, let's work it out exactly. So today is the oh, it's first of April. Oh man, I could have set up such a cool first of April, uh, April Fool's Day thing. Can you think about that? Uh, so, well, let's, let's just go from the first April, May, June, July, August, September, October. So the first of October is six months. Let's just keep it nice, simple, round, easy. So six of October. Okay. So I want everybody to write this down. Everybody write this down. By the sixth, by the sixth of October 2023, I will be making $20,000 every month in my business. By the 6th of April, uh, by, sorry, by the 6th of April, I think it's 6th of that. By the 1st of October 2023, why have I got 6th of April, man? Two, three, four, five. There must be something happening on 6th of April. Is that Easter? By the 1st of October, 2023, I will be making $20,000 every month consistently in my business. By the 1st of October, 2023, I will be making $20,000 consistent minimum income in my business every month. If you like, you can add 20,000 to what you're currently doing because this is how to add 20,000. So you can choose a specific number and add 20,000 if you wanted to. Now, as you write that down, thoughts would have popped up in your mind. Can I do that? Or how do I do that? Was that possible? Who recognized those thoughts? Those thoughts are your brain's physiological response to it not wanting you to change. It knows when you go after a goal or a dream or something you don't have, especially a bigger goal, that on that journey, there's going to be setbacks, failure, 
and pain. And that's the brain's job to protect you against that pain. So it tries to talk you out of it. So when you hear that voice, tell that voice to sit the F down, shut the F up, and you got this. Because the voice doesn't run you. You run the voice unless you let it. This is back to the wand and the magician thing. It's not about the wand. It's about the magician. Okay. Um, that's actually a really good metaphor that works together, actually. That's pretty good. Okay. So I want you to recognize that. So there's two things you need to do around that. Number one is what you just wrote down, I would put that somewhere everywhere. I would actually put that somewhere everywhere. It's two things you've got to do. That number one, as you wrote that down, I'm sure there was doubt, uncertainty, fear, stuff that went through your mind because you haven't achieved it. I want to challenge and dare each and every one of you right now to decide to make a decision that even though you're not sure how it's going to happen, even though if you're not sure if you can, even if you're not sure if you it's possible, that you're just going to find a way. Because once you make a decision to do something, you're going to make 20000 a month by the 1st of October, it is 80% done. When I decided to no longer stab myself in the arm with a heroin, that's when it stopped. When I decided to no longer be poor on the streets, that's when it stopped. When I decided to... I can keep going on. When you make the decision to lose weight, when you make the decision to quit smoking, when you make a decision to no longer, um, whatever the behavior is, it's 80% done. Because if the mind doesn't recognize the difference between remembering the past, experiencing the now, and imagining the future, it's the same. Whether you hum a song, listen to a song, sing a song, think a song, it's all the same to the brain, the same parts of the brain still light up, similar to what's on the, well, actually not similar to what's on the screen, but <laughs> if you've ever seen an uh, uh, an ECG before, e -E 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 -G, uh, before. Um, so first thing is you've got to decide. Basically means Latin for cut off anything else, right? Second thing is you've got to form an unwavering belief. You've got to find a way to believe it's possible. You've got to find a way to believe you deserve it. You've got to find a way to believe you can do this. If a high school dropout can do it, you can do it. If somebody that can barely spell can do it, you can do it. If others are doing it, you can do it. That's how you build your belief. Proximity, hang around other people, get to know the people on this workshop. Have a look at the other people in this workshop. Have them as friends, support each other, find communities, find coaches, find mentors. Proximity is power. Yeah. Take, uh, attend, become a student of my content, attend every workshop, attend every event, read all of my books, and become a student. So, you know, as Jim Rohn says, don't wish life was easier, wish you were better. Become better, and that will build your belief, okay? And then I want you to take that, what you just wrote down, and I want you to form a magnificent obsession. Napoleon Hill, in his book, Thinking Grow Rich, who's read Thinking Grow Rich? He spoke about forming a magnificent obsession. Grant Cardone, anyone heard of Grant Cardone? If you haven't, whether you like him or not, it's got a $50 million jet. Must be something doing something wrong. He wrote an entire book called Be Obsessed or Be Average. It's a bit passive aggressive, but it's actually a pretty cool book. Okay. Eric Thomas, if you've heard of Eric Thomas, famous motivational speaker, he used to say that when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. So you want to make the dominating thought in your mind 20K, 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 and then attach the emotions to it. Post it everywhere. Put it on your vision board. Set an alarm every hour to remind you to think about it. Because when you make the 20K by 1st of October, why you want it and what it means for you, when you take that as a gift store and you make it the dominating thought in your mind to the point where I want you to think about 20K and I want you to think about in six months from now, you're making 20,000, you see it in your bank account. And I want you to think about what else that's going to do for your life and how it's going to impact your life. And as you project forward and you experience that in the now and you see those things and you hear those things and you smell those things and you see the money in your bank account, how does that make you feel? I want you to think about that. And I want you to think about that and feel about that and scheme about that and dream about that all day. And I want you to think about that right now. And the more you think about it, the more you find yourself thinking about it. In fact, I want you to try to not think about it. And the more you try not to think about it, the more you find yourself thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it to the point where it becomes the main thing you think about. It's a magnificent healthy obsession because when you make something the dominating thought in your mind in your conscious mind the unconscious goes hey this must be pretty bloody important let's work for him for her rather than against her 
And then you'll attract the people, you'll attract the strategies, you'll attract the clients, you'll attract the revenue, and you'll manifest this 20K as long as you're doing the work. Does that make sense? That was pretty intense, wasn't it? Was that all cool? <laughs> uh, I love this stuff. I love serving. And I believe in each and every one of you. The fact that you are here tells me you are different and you are ready and you are hungry. And you got to be hungry because it's going to be bloody hard. It's not going to be easy the next six months to build a 20K. If it was easy, you would have already done it. Okay. That's the same goes you do for the next six months. We did the last six months. What's your life going to look like? You want 20,000 six months? The next six months, you got to do something you've never yet done. It's really that simple. That's why you're here. So a part of this is understanding our unconscious money blueprint. So uh, who's glad they came already, by the way? If it's too intense for you, good. <laughs> Dominating thought. Maybe not easy, but I bet you are going to keep it fun. Yeah, you got to have fun. I love to have fun. We're going to have fun on the way. Talk to me about that. So... Growing up, we go through this period called the critical period. Some people call it the imprinting period. Uh, Carl Jung called it the imprinting period. Um, somewhere between six and 12. Some people say five to 10. Some people say six to 12. But basically, a, a, a pre adolescent, right? In that childhood phase, post toddler, pre adolescent, in that phase where your conscious mind is developing very quickly. And so the brain has five different brainwave levels. And during this period, it spends a lot of time in what's known as theta level, theta level. And this is, if you study hypnosis, where hy hy hypnosis aim to get people to because they're most suggestible. So this is great because it's a great learning state. But the challenge is, is that, and you'll know this, anyone that's studied anything to do with mindset is, we are learning machines at that age. We're learning the good stuff, but we're also learning the junk, right? And so we are, learn we are picking up unconsciously our beliefs our values, our fears, our habits, especially these four things, unconsciously from our parents, the stuff we're watching on the computer or TV, video boxes, my mum used to call it, teachers, peers, etc. We're taking in all this information. You know, mum, is God exists? You grew up in a Christian household, you're probably going to be Christian. I'm not having to go Christians. I love I love all people, right? Whatever your belief system. Mum, is Santa real? Yes, Santa's real. Okay. Oh, yes, Santa's real, right? But we just go, oh, mum, aliens exist. Yeah, mum. And we kind of just we just go, oh, that's just how it is, right? The problem is, is that we enter adulthood being conditioned, never questioning through critical uh, thinking, because we're not taught to be critical thinkers in school. We're conditioned to be good employees, right? To be uh, to play the matrix, to be in the matrix, right? To be good employees. So we, and then we take into adulthood these identity frames. We attach these beliefs, values, fears, emotions, habits to our identity, and we just go, hey, this is who I am. Most of you know that's not the case. And this is context dependent, meaning we do it for relationships, we do it in health, we do it in finances, we do it in different areas. In the context of finances, we call this our unconscious money blueprint. We all have beliefs around money, habits around money, values around money, fears and emotions around money that formed unconsciously as a part of our conditioning as children and took it into adult life. And if, if we don't choose to take time to rewire that through a process called neuroplasticity and to uh, treat our brain um, like a computer and uh, and re rewrite the code, if you will, then you're never going to be successful financially. So I'm not going to share the how-to now, but I'll tell you this. In all my programs that I do, my coaching programs, everything I do, one-on-one -on -one group, I have a program called the Mental Vitamins Program where we go through a process where we revisit the critical period and we look at how to raise your financial thermostat. So financial thermostat is this. So in my uh, in my hotel apartment, um, if, if you ever go to a seminar with somebody who knows what they're doing, they keep the room very cold. Does anyone know why they did why they keep the room very cold? They keep the room very cold to stimulate the brain. That's why they do that, right? Oxygen stimulate the brain. I keep you in a certain state. Right now, my hotel apartment's on 18 degrees. Whenever I do these, I always keep my room very cold for the same reason. Okay, and I, and I drink water and I fast. I, have, I, I don't eat before these things. Minimal water, but some, I fast and I'm, I'm in cold. So right now, anyway, my aircon's set to 18 degrees. If I open up my door, actually my door is open. I forgot to close my door. Um, imagine my clothes, my door's closed, right? It's 18 degrees in here. I open the door, it's 22 degrees outside. What happens inside? The temperature will increase to 22 to match outside. But what will happen 
when my thermostat kicks in, it'll bring it back down to 18 to see your results, right? So that's the same with your finances. Have you ever made more money than lost it? Or have you ever built a business and lost it? Or have you ever got your results in your finances? You save some money, you lose some money. We all have a thermostat. Some people it's 10,000 in the bank. Some people it's 20,000 in the red. Some people it's 100,000 in the red. Some people it's 2,000 a week. Some people it's 10,000 a week. We all have this thermostat. So there's a way to raise that thermostat unconsciously. And I show you how in my programs. If you want to get the ball rolling on that, the best book I've read for that is called The Secrets of the Millionaire Minds by T. Harbecker. Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harbecker. I'm spending a bit of time on this, but that's why my company is called Quantum. Because until you get, you can have the best strategy, sales, marketing, that in the world, and our systems, SOP, sales, marketing, is world class. Anyone that knows our stuff inside out will tell you. But then why do people not succeed? It's the inner game. So if I don't get the inner game, I'm not going to say right. Conditions. <laughs> uh, conducive. Congruent. Then we're not going to be successful. Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harbecker. Right, check that out. Stacy, your hotel apartment, that's a new one for me. I'm going to do coaching from my boat apartment then. Yeah, awesome. Do it. Adrian, I'm fully qualified. What I do have helped many people trying to launch. Yes, it's maybe not easy. Dominating thought. Yeah, awesome. All right. So that's the basic mindset stuff. Let's go. So I want to challenge everyone to make a decision right now. Who can decide right now to make it the dominating thought, magnificent obsession that you are going to be by 1st of October 2023, making 20,000 a month? Who's in say I? Yes, I had a Tony Robbins moment. Okay, now let's begin with strategy. Now we've talked about the, now we've got the pre-framing, we've got some targets, we've got the mindset. Let's begin the journey of the roadmap. You guys ready for the roadmap? If you're ready, say I'm ready. I do love doing these things. Thank you for being here because we, we I normally would charge 500 grand for these things. But when COVID hit, we stopped charging for these workshops. And funnily enough, we used to get 50 to 100 people to the paid ones. So let just give you an idea. Uh, a lot less people are showing up to these things, which is, it's like, you know, when you're like, oh, should I go to the gym or should I not go to the gym and go to the gym? You're like, damn, I can't believe I wasn't going to go. I feel amazing. You guys are going to be like that after the session. Like, man, I'm so glad I did that. I'm a little bit, well, my brain's going 50 miles an hour, but I'm really glad I came, right? Because the other cool thing is you get to network. There's 24, 25 people on this call. Pay attention to them. Network with them. Become friends with them. Support each other. Do podcasts together. Do lives together. Help each other. That's that's the beauty of these things as well, these kind of events, right? Uh, got it right here. I, I, I. Right, ready, ready, ready. Okay, let's do this. So let's talk about the roadmap and the checkpoints. Now, I'm going to share with you what I believe. Now, when I know something's my opinion belief, I, I will I will tell you because I like to be very objective. Oh, by the way, as a thank you, anyone that doesn't have, as a thank you for attending this workshop, anyone that doesn't have one yet, have a, we've got these wristbands. Can you see my video? Is it my video? Video. Why can I not see the videos? Here it is. There we go. So anyone, that, uh, we've got these get shit done wristbands, right? So GSD, all day, baby. I've actually got it tattooed on my wrist, GSD. My left wrist, I've got focus, and then right wrist, get shit done. Because that's it. Make a decision, focus on what you got to do, get shit done. Okay? Make a decision, 20K, focus on this roadmap, get the shit done. That's it. That's success, those three things. Uh, thoughts, feelings, and action. Who would? If you don't have one of these yet and you'd like one, Send me a private message with your address and I'll send you one as a thank you for being on this uh, workshop, okay? So basically what we do with this is like, who ever procrastinates? Do you guys, who's good at procrastinating? Hey, who's good at, ever my procrastinate? Good question. If you are good at procrastinating, what would happen if you were to procrastinate your procrastination? What would not happen if you did not go to the gym? It's a double negative, you'd go to the gym, right? So whenever you find yourself procrastinating, you know, you're not picking up the phone, you're not, you're not doing the work, you're not doing the live, Facebook live, you're sitting there looking at the screen, you can just flick this bad boy back, I'm not going to do it because it hurts, <laughs> and look back, and it's kind of like a trigger, okay, so it becomes a trigger, and anyone who's studied NLP will uh, know about kinesthetic anchors, so it becomes a trigger to act, uh, it's just a really simple tool for accountability, uh, it's simple, kind of superficial, but it's fun, and it's a conscious, uh, con con conscious, constant reminder as well. 
you don't have one yet and you want one as a we send them to clients as a thank you shoot me a message with the address i'll send them to you okay so charlie wasn't until the closing ceremony of the challenge i worked out what gsd was yeah some people are like gst goods and services tax no gsd you got goods and services tax tattooed uh, if you're not in Australia, GST is goods and services tax, which is a killer here. Although it's not 15% like the UK. Uh, it's going to go back to my uh, live here. Okay, so the roadmap. Okay. So here's the checkpoints that I believe to be the fastest way. Okay, now I know all of you are probably at different points in your business. I'm just going to go from zero. So I'm just going to imagine, I'm going to hallucinate that right now you don't have any clients. Okay, and I'll start from scratch. Even if you do, I would probably suggest going through this same checkpoints and kind of doing a relaunch and starting over. A huge mistake, a couple of huge mistakes people make when they start online is number one is you don't need to be perfect to get started. You don't have to be great to get started. You have to start to get to, to be great. There are a couple of things that you do want to have in place and refined before you start, because if you do, it's going to be a lot easier for your clients, a lot faster. Your conversion is going to be higher. Okay. First thing is, is, the very first thing you can do is you want to find your sales SOPs. So we're going to talk about that. Clear on your avatar, niche, messaging, have your offer and pricings in place in the form of a pitch deck and have your sales scripts and payment stuff in place. If you have that refined, now I've coached over 2,000 business owners one-on-one -on -one alone in the last about 13 years online. I have never come across a business owner making under 20,000 a month that had those refined ever. Most didn't even have them all in place. If you do, when you launch, it will make a huge difference because your messaging will be better. It'll be easier for you to get in front of more of the right people. Right now, for most of you, your biggest challenge is obscurity. People don't know who you are, what you do. That's why you need more quantity and quality of attention in front of more of the right people. If you refine the sales SOPs and plug those gaps and fill those holes that all of you will have, I guarantee you, I will find many, um, then the launch is going to be much much easier. Uh, Deb, would like a bracelet? Yeah, can you send it to me on Facebook, please, Debbie? Because uh, I will lose that in the chat and then we'll shut this down. So send me a private message on Facebook. Canada is 5% GST. I like Dubai. Dubai have no GST. Uh, so Dubai have no tax, rather. They will, well, they have no income tax. They add um, service fees to everything. But uh, maybe me wasn't all good, good, good. I did Forbes Riley's GST program last year. Nice. I've been using GST longer though. I've been we 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 started using these wristbands about a decade ago when I launched my company Quantum. So um yeah, <laughs> but GST's been around for a long time, thirty years. Uh, but it's just yeah, it's still a little passive aggressive, but it's just a cool reminder. So we refine ourselves as a piece, then we launch. Okay, once we launch with a bang, your focus right now you always have one focus right now. Your focus is refine sales of systems. That's done. Then the next focus becomes the launch. And this is what we'll do check in uh, the group business coaching program. Then you have one focus, get five one-on-one -on -one clients. Okay. What kind of coaching and consulting does everybody do? What kind of coaching or consulting does everybody do? Business coaching, life coaching, fitness coaching, SaaS, done for you. Whatever you do, therapy, healing, whatever you do, in the beginning, launch one-on-one -on -one and forget about groups. Why, why, and this is not my opinion, this is the fastest way. I've never seen somebody launch a group program from scratch faster than one on one. Here's why because if you're just starting out, you don't have a big community, you don't have a big following, you haven't positioned yourself as an authority or credibility, you haven't written books, you haven't done the podcast, you're just starting up. Is it going to be easier for you to get 20 or 30 clients? 20 is going to be easier if we get 30 clients or five clients. Can be easy, it's not rocket science, it can be easy to get five clients. But Jace, group coaching is more affordable. Yes. Who's ever tried to launch a group coaching program and then you failed and you had like three or four people? Has anyone ever had that? How does that look when you launch that? I hear that story all the time. Focus on one-on-one because you'll build your top, the top of your, um, uh, your, your top line first. So the smaller and newer your business is, the more the focus is on the top line, not your profits. If you're making $1,000 a week, there's no point looking at the bottom line and trying to save money because what are you going to say 10 bucks if you had a billion dollar company the bottom line is more important because the tweaks will make differences of hundreds of millions the smaller your business the more important the top line is right now it's all about top line 20k turnover 5,000 a week turnover 
that's going to move the needle faster than things. What will move the needle of the top, your top line right now, that any big business owner will tell you the same. Any big business owner will tell you the same here, by the way. That likes to move fast. We were talking about speed. Five one-on-one -on -one clients for most of you will give you $1,000 a week, give or take more. 4,000, 5,000, 10,000. How much does everyone charge? Like if you get five one-on-one -on -one clients, how much is that per month? Just type that in the chat. We get you five clients. Now, a lot of people I work with in the launch get five clients just from their launch. Five one-on-one -on -one clients. Some people say, well, Jace, I'm going to do both. You can do both. But if you try to chase two rabbits simultaneously, scoop them up at the same time, how many are you going to catch? They're going to catch any. The logical mind kicks in goes, well, I can get one. Let's get the biggest, juiciest, meatiest rabbit. Apologies, vegetarians and vegans. Okay, you don't have to eat it, you can pat it instead of eating it. And then you get the second one and go, let's get more rabbits, right? As your ability to catch rabbits improves, you can have more rabbits in the peripheral. I've got many rabbits because I've gotten really good at catching rabbits. Elon Musk has insane amount of rabbits people can't even begin to fathom. He is a great at catching rabbits, right? Um, when you first start, one rabbit, one service, primary, one core offer. So your core offer is one-on-one. -on -one. So the first thing you want to do is you want to set a target. How many one-on-one -on -one clients per week can you handle? How many one-on-one -on -one clients per week can you handle? I want you to choose that, write that down, commit to it, and post that in the group chat because we're going to work out some numbers after as well because we need to work out the numbers for 20K. 10 one-on-one -on -one clients. So Kerry, we're going to get you to 10 one-on-one -on -one clients, then we'll launch group. All your energy, 10 one-on-one -on -one clients, then we're going to launch group. And then when, group, then when we launch group, that's your entire energy, maintaining your one-on-one -on -one clients, nice and easy, and group becomes your core offer. Nice and easy. Debbie, 10. Stacy, 8. Fred, 10. Kerry, 10. 10 is a pretty good number. I, I would like the number 10. For most people, it's not between 5 and 20. I think 10 is a really good, nice round number. Rachel, 8. Jade, 8 to 10. Hey, I was waiting for this. Jade, is it 8 to 10? Do you know why people use hyphens? It's normally men, especially men. The reason why we put 8 to 10 is... The big dirty C word, commitment, as to avoid commitment. Oh, if I put the hyphen in there, it's all between. No, it is, we need a finite number. Yeah. There's normally men that do that. I normally use them as an example. And so you, again, ah, here we go. Dane, is it 10 or is it 15? You've got to choose a number, bro. It's got to be a finite number. Your masculine me? Yeah, it's the masculine you. 100% it is. Yeah. 15. I like that when I ever say, hey, is it 10 or 15? People always go up. The problem with goal setting, I want you to hear this, the problem with goal setting isn't that we set goals too high and do not achieve them. The problem with goal setting is that we set goals too low and we do. The problem is we let our minimums be our maximums. Your minimums do not have to be your maximums. Aim small, hit what? Small. Aim big, hit what? Big. For those, uh, so our entry-level program is a 20K program. One of the first things we're going to, what have I, what's the first thing I sent you guys in the 20K program is pre-study. What's the very first thing that was your pre-study homework to read what playbook? What was it called? How to build a million dollar year business. How to build seven figures. How to build 100K months. If you've joined the 20K month program, first thing you've done, here's 100K. What am I doing? Planting the seed to get you to think larger. I want you to want to make 100K months. Not 20K, 20K is a start. 20K is the next step. Yeah. Yeah, your minimums don't have to be your maximum. It's got to stretch. Yeah, you got to stretch yourself. I had interesting visuals when you said that. <laughs> 25K would be five one-on-one -on -one clients. Isn't that crazy? So you already, that, you only need five one-on-one -on -one clients, does it? Yeah. J9. All right, that's cool. Yeah, I, I like that. Spiritual completion. I like the number nine. Spiritual completion. Yeah, okay, awesome. Okay, so then once you've got five one-on-one -on -one clients, we hire a VA. Part time. Oh, Jay, you're just saying that because you have a VA agency. I've been saying I've had the same or similar roadmap for about a decade. I, I launched 13 years ago a business coaching program to show online coaches, originally it was fitness coaches, now all coaches, to build 20,000 a month. And 10 years ago, I was saying, get five clients, get a VA. You can find it. You look at any of my own content, same. Between five and 10 clients, always been the same. Why? Because you're going to have so much going on, you're not going to be able to do it all, okay? And as your time becomes more valuable and you create more authority and credibility, you want to be spending more of your time on more high-value tasks. So hiring a VA part-time, okay? Then we want to create five funnels and five offers. And we're going to talk about these roadmaps now. 
Okay, we built to that 10 client mark or around that 10 client mark, whatever you said. Some of you said eight, some of you said nine, some of you said 15, whatever that is. Okay, and then you increase your VA to full time. Now your book solid one on one, you launch your group. And at this stage, I recommend hiring a coach, consultant, done for whatever whatever the technician is in your business. If you have a done for your service, it'll be a technician, consultant, coach, therapist. Um, shut that down. Okay. Um, and then we launch your second group. I want I want to encourage all of you to have two groups and we're going to talk about rotating them. Okay. So they're the roadmaps and the checkpoints. And that's what we're going to spend probably the next uh, hour and a half on moving through those. Sound good? Now, Jace, that's cookie cutter. That can't be for everybody. Well, you can personalize it. I'm telling you, this will be the fastest way for you to get to 20K because you only ever have how many focuses at any given time. What? You only ever focus on one. What's the focus today? What's the focus this week? What's the focus here? One thing. Let's keep it simple for yourself. The KISS principle. It's keep it simple, stupid. Right, I did a, I did a live presentation a few years back. My dad was actually in the front row, and I said, "Keep it, uh, keep it stupid simple instead of keep it simple stupid." My dad laughed so loud that everybody else laughed at me. It was, it was quite funny actually. It was it was humbling. Um, what are parents for? <laughs> uh, so that is the checkpoints. Okay, if you have any questions, uh, ask them at any stage. I will post these in the uh, in the group tomorrow. These slides. But here, we, what we want to do is, somebody mentioned this before, is like you want to feel like you're successful. You want to feel like you made it. And the thing is that when you make it to 20K, you're going to be like, okay, let's get to 50K, and you still haven't made it. So to avoid that, whoever feels like you're living Groundhog Day, like you're just hustling and grinding, you just like the same thing we go over. Here's how you escape that cycle, is you take time to consciously recognize and celebrate your achievements. And I suggest doing that with loved ones in a creative, innovative, fun way. That's something that you've never done or may only do once ever. So I use a reward and consequence system. So what I want to invite everybody to do, you've all written down. Okay. You've all written down 1st of October, 2023, 20,000 a month, right? Everybody does that. I want everybody to take a moment now, 30 to 60 seconds. Think about how are you going to reward yourself and celebrate with loved ones if necessary when you hit that? For example, you might be like, I'm going to take my kids to Disney. Now, here's the cool thing. If you want to take your kids to Disney when you hit that 20K, which you will be able to afford if you do that, now you can say, hey, kids, here's the deal. Hey, kids, hey, husband, hey, wife. I'm currently working. I've got a plan and I'm going to be building 20K months in the, by 1st of October. Here's the deal. If I hit that, we're going to Disney my shop. Do you think your kids and your partner are going to be supportive of you working more if you tell them that? Hell yeah, they are. They're going to become your uh, cheerleaders, right? Mom, why are you working? Dad, why are you working? Why are we going to Disney? And you put that shit on your vision board. You And you do this stuff together. Now, even though they're not in your business working, well, they could be, they are supportive because they know that you're doing it for all of you, that you're doing it for all of them. It's a game changer. It not just impacts your own psychology, but everyone. And you reward and celebrate. You go to Hawaii or, you know, if you don't have a family or kids, you might buy yourself the dream car. If there's no right or wrong rules, it's just got to get you, oh my God, yes. It's not about the 20K. There's got to be, it's got to be juicy. It's got to be sexy. It's got to be exciting. It's like, oh my God, I get to go to Hawaii. I, I get to swim with dolphins in China. Can you swim with dolphins in China? I don't know whatever it is, right? It's got to be juicy and exciting. Kerry, even if it's Christmas time, tickets are four times more than normal. Hell yeah. You're going to take yours to Disney and Hawaii. Let's do it, baby. Okay, so so what you want to do, Rachel, this perfect example, is I want you to get a photo of Disney. I've been to Disneyland and Disney World. I've been to both. To give you an idea, the car park at Disney World in Flor in Orlando, Florida, is bigger than the entire Disneyland in LA and Anaheim. If you've got kids, take them to Disney World. Trust me, they'll, you'll, be, they'll, you'll all be great. Well, they'll be grateful. It's hectic. Um but yeah, and Universal Studios there as well, which has got Harry Potter World, if they're Harry Potter fans. So you want to get a photo of Disney, right? There's If it's you and your two kids, you get a mum and two kids or whatever. And you put that on the vision board and tell your kids, but, well, I don't know how old the kids, but the deal is, is that mum's got to get to this goal, right? Okay. And so you do it together. Okay. And then every day you visualize. And there's a specific process I talk about in my book from Spence Camilla. If you guys have my book. Not nearby. I mean, um, there's a specific visualizing process 
but make it powerful for manifestation. Manifestation is not just simply closing your eyes and imagining. There's more to it than that. When thoughts become emotionalized, they become magnetized, and there's a process to it. It's in my book, From the Streets of Millionaire. Okay. What's everybody else's reward? How are you going to reward yourself? Yep. Okay. Or is it a week or two in Hawaii? So here's what you do as well. So Charlie, if it's Hawaii for you, this is what you this is what you do. You create plan. You create a mock itinerary. So what you need to do is, okay, it's Hawaii. We're going to Hawaii. It's going to cost ten grand. It's in ten months. I'm going to use nice easy numbers because it's math. <laughs> We're going to. Oh, let's let's do it this way. So it's Hawaii in six months. It's going to cost six grand. Okay, I mean, need to save a thousand month. That's two hundred fifty a week. I can't afford two hundred fifty a week now. I need to increase my revenue by two hundred fifty. Put that into a savings account. Okay, sit down with the kids. What are we going to do? We're going to go for seven nights. Who are we going to fly with? What time are we leaving? What time are we coming back? Where are we staying? What are the prices? Where are we eating? What are the activities doing? Create the itinerary and put that onto your vision board and make it a reality because the brain doesn't recognize the difference between remembering the past, experiencing now, and imagining the future. You've got to make these neural connections. So the brain thinks it's already happened and it's a reality. I cannot tell you how powerful this shit is. We all know this intellectually, but it's one thing to know something's nothing to do, right? That's how I live my life. I don't, I'm not like, what can I afford to do? So I'm like, I want to do this. I'm just going to cost, I reverse engineer it, and I create a savings plan or a plan or, or whatever. Or you're saying travel, lol, I can save your money and go to Vegas with my mentors. Awesome. Whatever it is. Again, it could be drop by your dream car. It could be whatever it is. Spend a week at Siesta Keys. Nice. Yeah. So I want you to add that to your vision board. Make it part of your magnificent obsession. Okay. And um, create a plan for it. Create a plan for that thing. How much it's going to cost? Where are you staying? When are you going? Create a plan for it. Yeah. That's your reward. Sound good? Who's already more excited about hitting that 20K now? Yeah, because what's going to happen is it's like when you make a decision to lose 30 kilos, it's easy to do something. It's easy to go to the gym when you feel like it. One day you wake up and the alarm goes off on Sunday like, oh, one day I'm fighting hurt. And then one day becomes two days, two days becomes two weeks. Next thing you know, oh crap, what happened? I put on weight. What's going to happen is over the couple of weeks and months, something's going to happen and you're going to be like, ah, oh, it's going to take today off or I'm not going to do this thing today. Oh, one day won't hurt. <laughs> one day I had a... Okay. So that's why that is there as a motivator, as a driving factor. And if you involve your family in it, oh, it's a powerful motivator. And it's exciting. It's fun. Okay, let's talk about sales SOPs. Now, I'm going to move through these fairly quickly. I do have tools and resources for you. Remember, I'm just giving you the checkpoints. I'm not going to give you the how-to on everything. I will give you a an option at the end to get more how-to, but I'm going to give you some resources. So I want from this point on for you to think about what you do not have in place and to spend the upcoming weeks and months to put these into place. And if you need more support or guidance or help, you know, we can chat about that, not a problem. Uh, who's glad you came already, by the way, is this useful? It's good. Oh, Jace, you spent too much time on the mindset stuff. Just give me the strategy, bro. Well, that's what we're doing now. It's always easy to be the coach. The brain, the mind, it's like a garden. Grows weeds every day. How long? Is, how often does it need to be cultivated? Every day. I have uh, 21 certifications in different psychological modalities. I still need to cultivate every day, embody every day, work every day, personal development every day. Okay, you can have a day off here and there, but maybe one. Okay, so no matter how many certifications, no matter how much embodiment you have, no matter how spiritually masterful you are, it's an ongoing journey and process. Mastery is not a destination. There is no there is no master in the world. There's no one's achieved mastery. Mastery is death. <laughs> well, I, I guess if you're it depends on where you are in your spiritual journey. We have ego dissolution and ego death and an ascension in which we ascend to the fifth dimension, no longer exist in this third dimension in physical form for my woo-woo people out there. <laughs> anyway, I digress. So sales SOPs. So this is what we need to have in place. We need to have avatar and niche refined. Let's talk about these. This is basic foundational fundamentals. This is an opportunity for you to refine. Most of you will have some of these in place, a lot of these, maybe even all of these. But I'm telling you, they all have gaps, they all have holes, and they need to be refined. What's the difference between avatar and niche? Uh, let's ask you guys. What's the difference between avatar and niche, guys? What's the difference between Rachel love the woo? Yeah. 
you're in the right place then yeah avatar's a person and niche is a um a group yeah, I like that. That's a nice, simple, just easy to understand. Avatar's a person, niche is a group, 100%. So your niche is your audience. It's your target market. It's the collective group that you are working with. Now, we've all heard of avatar and niche. I think we've all taken some time to prepare it. But what people don't really understand is how to clarify it in a way that allows us to use our messaging to get our offer in front of the right people in the right way at the right time. So there's really three main pillars here that you really need before your launches. You've got to have your avatar and niche defined. Then you've got to have your messaging and your the way you message is through your content and your events and to get your offer in front of people. Okay, so they're, they're the three main components. Okay, we're going to touch on. So your niche is your audience of people and you want to get very specific and clear, okay, on that audience. For example, Lisa's one of my business coaches. She also has a fitness business. Her, her audience, her niche is 40 plus women with menopause that want to lose weight. Now, if your niche is clarified in a way and your avatar is specified in a way that makes it easier for you to find those people and get in front of those people, it's going to make messaging and selling a lot easier. Right? Um, now, it's interesting because before COVID or five years ago, clarifying your avatar and niche was more important for paid and less important for organic. That's switched. Avatar and niche is now more important than ever for organic and less important than ever for ads, okay? Which is interesting, okay? Um, so your niche is your audience, age, age group, how you help, what problem you help. So, because as a coach or consultant, you only do two things. You help people solve a problem or get what they want, okay? Your avatar is what I want to talk a little bit more about because the niche is an easier one, okay? By the way, a lot of who's heard the term niching down before here's the problem niching down is great if your big your business gets bigger the smaller your business the more you want to niche up why if i have a big business and i'm doing 10 million a year and i niche down i still have a big piece of the pie but if i have a small business with less than five clients like a lot of you a couple of clients and i niche down i'm minimizing the amount of people why would i want to reduce the size of my pie so I want a bigger piece of the pie. So niche up, not down. Okay? My niche is online coaches, consultants, and agency owners. In what parameters? All of them. That's too big a niche. No, it's not. It's freaking awesome. I've got 200,000 of them in my networking database. Must be doing something, right? You know, doing double six-figure months. We just started ads. We're building towards $1 million months, right? We'll hit that next year. Hopefully sooner, but next year's a goal. With your avatar, your avatar is your specific caricature. It's an individual human being. Now, I'm going to help you each clarify your avatar very quickly. Forget about what you've done up until now. I'm going to ask you some questions, and I want you to write down the answers. As I ask you the question, something's going to pop up in your mind. That's from your unconscious or your intuition or both. Has your intuition ever been wrong? Never. What will happen is a thought will pop up in your mind with an answer. Then you'll start to prejudge that want to change that question that analyze that don't do that whatever comes in your mind first just write it down don't think about it you can think about it later so this is your avatar okay okay i'm gonna ask you a question i just want you to write down the first thought that comes to your mind you can review it later number one okay your avatar male or female write it down on a piece of paper male or female first this comes to mind now as i say that if you're thinking both no that's not how an avatar works okay an avatar is if you had one person paying you $1 million a year and your dream client, who is that person? And we create that caricature. That's your dream client. We want to attract dream clients. Who wants dream clients? Who wants a schedule full of dream clients? We all do. At least potentially dream clients. So you cannot work. You're, an individual person cannot be a male or female. As I say that, I'm thinking about all the shit that's going on in the mainstream media right now, <laughs> um, which I try to avoid um, as much as possible. So write this down. Male or female? Let's give your avatar a name. Tom, Sally, what's their name? Write that down. Okay. How old is uh, that person? Specific number, 35, 37, 38. Where in the world are they? Exact city. Example, Melbourne, Australia. First thing that comes to mind. What is their income or revenue? What is their income or revenue? 30,000 a year, 100,000 a year, 50,000 a year. 
what is their job title or business type? If you're working with B2B, what is it? What type of business? They're personal trainers, they're a chiropractor, they're an online coach, they're a consultant. They're an employee, if they're employee, yeah, uh, corporate manager, retail, plumber. Are they married or single? Married or single? If they're married, what's their husband's or wife's name? What's their husband's or wife's name? Now, you might be thinking that's superfluous. It doesn't matter. But it's getting you to think in depth about the clarity of how important those specific, that being specific is. Remember, everything's about psychology first. Do they have kids? If yes, how many? Three kids, two kids, four kids. What are the kids' names? Tom, Sally, Amber. How old are those kids? Two, four, and six. Write that down. What is this person's biggest goal? What is their biggest goal in life? Retire the husband, quit their job, travel the world. Just as if not more important, what is the thing that keeps them awake at night? What is their biggest challenge or problem in their life that keeps them awake at night? You answer that and you message, you interact, you communicate that. It's a game changer. And then we go into our three core message pillars. There's more questions. I have an avatar worksheet, which you can fill in. Who already just from that has a bit more clarity over your avatar already? Just from that simple exercise, yeah? Uh -huh. Who else found that when you thought of something, you wanted to uh, change it or analyze or prejudge? Did you guys find that? We all do that. What's happening on Facebook? Felicia, Mary. Hey, Mary, how you doing? My coach, cool, 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 cool. So once you get clear on your avatar and your niche, who your audience is and who your dream client is that you want to attract from that audience. Now we need to get clear on our messaging. Now for our messaging, we use a philosophy called the three core message pillars. I got this from Frank Kern. Anyone heard of Frank Kern? Frank Kern is a, a legend. Be one of the top 10 probably internet marketers of all time. I'd say he'd be on a lot of people's all time great lists that have been around for a long time. Put it this way, 17 years ago, when I launched my first sales letter online, it was his template. That's how long he's been around. He was Tony Robbins' very first uh, online uh, internet marketing consul uh, uh, consultant. He was a consultant for Grant Cardone for a bit uh, as well, and has worked with a lot of the top guys. He, and if you do know Frank Kern, he actually just moved from ClickFunnels to Go High Level, like a lot of us are doing, which is interesting. So three core message pillars is like, here is the problem that when you go to do content or events, so your messaging can be relayed through your content. So videos, blogs, questions, the stuff you post, and it can be delivered through an event, like a webinar, a challenge, whatever. That's it. Your message, the, the, the only way, that's how you communicate. Or, or maybe DM people or email or whatever, but it's still really content or an event, right? Okay, you're adding value through content, show people how to solve a problem, get what they want, or an event. It's really, really simple, like this. It's part of my messaging. So the problem is, is that you are all too smart. You all know too much. In your field that you're an expert in, there is so much you could teach about, talk about, help people with. You have so much knowledge, so many gifts, so many tools, so many skills, you know too much. So when you sit down, who's ever sat down to do a Facebook Live or a video or a blog and you sat there and go, uh, what do I talk about? Who's ever had that kind of experience before? Yes, everyone raise your hand. Two things. First of all, you don't want to waste your time doing that. It's a waste of your brain power, number one. And number two is because you have not yet defined your three core message pillars. By defining your three core message pillars, it allows you to get clear and make decisive, quick decisions on what your content's going to be around and plan and map out. So everyone we work with, we map out 30 days in advance uh, content. We map out 30 days of content in under 10 minutes. So when you get to do the blog, you just can write it. You when you get to the video, you, you can just record, you can just do it. No thinking, take the thinking out of your content. I do 80 plus pieces of content a week right now in under 20 minutes a day. I'll talk about that shortly. Yeah. So you've got to get clear, get clear on your three core message. Here are your three core message pillars. Your three core message pillars are the three main subtopics that you're an expert in that all of your content or events fall into. Whether you write a book, do a podcast, do a webinar, do a video, or do a blog. There's always three core message pillars. If you know Grant Cardone, he's a sales, real estate, money. Okay. Mine, a sales marketing team. Used to be SOPs. We flipped from SOPs to team because of uh, our VA agency. If you're a personal trainer, there's only really three that it can be. If you're in the fitness industry, 
Fitness is one, nutrition is one, mindset is the other. That's it. That means every piece of content I do is around fitness, around mindset, or around nutrition. And now what I can do is I can create a planner. What are some topics to nutrition? Calories, macronutrients, um, different philosophies like intermittent fasting, keto, etc. There's things like nutrigenomics. There's things like uh, uh, phyto, uh, micronutrition. Um, there's cellular nutrition, all these kind of things in there, right? Um, intermittent fasting, intermittent fasting. And in mindset, I can talk about beliefs, I can talk about fears, I can talk about habits, I can talk about self-sabotage, I can talk about toxicity, I can talk about emotional eating. I, and then in fitness, I can talk about weights, I can talk about cardio, I can talk about weight loss. I can, so now I can map out my content nice and easy. Okay. Now, three core message pillars aren't about going, hey, everybody, these are my three core message pillars. It's an internal thing to make it nice and easy for you. If you're in business, it might be sales, marketing, and uh, systems. If you're a life coach or a mindset coach, it could be mindset, health, and relationships, or mindset, spirituality, and health. It could be something like that. Take a moment to work out your three core message pillars right now. That'll make more sense as we continue on. If you have a challenge or get stuck, let me know. And another three minds of the human. Yeah, so, so the th awesome thing about that, Stacey, is you're, you want to chunk up and make it as broad as possible because it's, it, it needs to have hundreds of sub topics. So the three minds of the human can all come under one umbrella. That umbrella might be one of your, because you got to remember it's a third of your entire business. Each one is a third of your entire. Yeah. So they're all part of that one pillar. Yeah. Yeah. And by the way, there's no rules. It's just if you chunk up, it's going to make it easier for you down the track. So would one be six dysfunctional belief systems? That would still fall into mind. So, so here's the thing. We tend to use terminology that we like. I'll give you an example. For me, I don't like the term weight loss because of my background, I've worked with over 20,000 people on their body transformation goals. Over 20,000, personally. That's personally. Over the last 20 something years. I just, I used to, I don't try not to use the word, but I do not like the term weight, uh, weight loss. It's fat loss. So I launched a, a book. I wrote a book a few years back, fair few years, called The Seven Laws of Fat Loss. It was a huge flop. It was like, that's what I wanted to call it. I did some research online and I found that 10 times more people searched on Google and online for weight loss and fat loss. I'm like, all right, let's get out of my way. And all I did was change the title of the book to Seven Laws of Weight Loss. Over 20,000 copies in less than a year. 20,000 a year. And all I did was change the name because I didn't use the words that I wanted to use. I used the words that would resonate with my audience, my avatar and niche using the right messaging that they would find relatable that they would connect with. And that's the same with naming a webinar, naming a book, whatever it might be. We do not use the words that we want to or labels we want to. We use the words and labels that are going to resonate with them that they can connect with and going to trigger a response from them. This is huge. Getting out of our own way, putting our ego aside and being humble enough to be objective and to understand our audience. Yeah. Human psychology. Yeah, psychology. Psychology is a pillar. Psychology, mindset, whatever. That's one pillar. Yeah. What's everyone's three core message pillars? Everyone got that? Nice and simple. Get stuck, let me know. So you've got your avatar and niche in place. You've got your three core message pillars. Now we want to create your core offer. Your core offer. Now, at this stage, all of you are going to have the same core offer. It's one-on-one. -on -one. It's one-on-one -on -one coaching, one-on-one -on -one consulting, one-on-one -on -one therapy, one-on-one -on -one done for your service. Anyone that hasn't got book solid one-on-one -on -one clients, your core offer is the thing that you sell when you get on a sales call every single time, that's your core offer. One core, one main offer. You got more than one, you've got more than one rabbit, you're trying to chase too many rabbits. At this stage, you can have 10 programs down the track, but for now, get this one going, yeah? That's development, business growth, marketing. I love it, perfect, yeah? Yeah, nice, awesome. Lifestyle mindset, clarity. Question to you, can clarity fall under mindset? Could you write a thousand pieces of content around clarity? Yeah, nice. The interesting thing about lifestyle is technically everything goes under lifestyle. I'm like, well, almost everything. Uh, yeah. Mindset, structure, relationships. What do you mean by structure? Illness, healing, greater health. Well, I'm glad you said this. So, Vickers, my suggestion for this is if I want to capture people's attention from a marketing perspective, yes, I will use uh, pain. Because when you walk past a newsstand and you see beautiful sunshine day, you're like, oh, that's nice. Versus you walk past a newsstand. But do they still have newsstands? So you walk past a newsstand 
it says massive storm coming. You pick it up and you read it. The media knows that fear is a trigger for that. It captures people's attention. It's like we're naming a Facebook group. If um, a lot of people now working with trauma, childhood trauma, wounding and so forth, I wouldn't put trauma in the name of my group. I would put, I'd use healing. So, uh, and also illness would be a part of healing because you're healing illness as well. Greater health, healing. Healing, greater health. Is there a connection in there? Like some sort of mind-body connection in there? Structure being the creative structure versus problem solving, which I... Yeah, we're, we're going to go through the stuff in the coaching program anyway, so it's cool. I want to keep moving. I don't want to fall too much further behind. Um, so now we have... Uh, now we're going to avatar niche. We've got a three core message pillars. We want to create our pitch deck or turn our core offer into a pitch deck of visual aid. A lot of people make the mistake of telling people the offer rather than showing people their offer. So what you want to do is you want to map out your one-on-one -on -one coaching program and then put it into a visual aid or what we call a pitch deck. And so when you get on a Zoom call or a sales call, you're showing people your offer, your core offer, your one-on-one -on -one program. To do that, you want to create a pitch deck. This is my business coaching one. Okay. Your pitch deck has four main slides. First slide is uh, either the logo of your business or the name of your program. So this is actually the pitch deck to sell my 20K a month coaching program. I've got a 100K a month one and a 20K a month one for you guys just starting. The purpose of this first slide is to capture attention, why it's red. And uh, because you've been talking and now you're sharing your screen with them and uh, they're focusing. The second slide is a checklist of what they get. The purpose of the second slide for sharing your core offer in your sales call is to increase perceived value. You want people to go, damn, this is a lot of value, right? So in our coaching program, we get a 30 minute coaching session each week, a success blueprint, marketing plans, et cetera, get all the three courses. Whoa, we get all that. The third slide, and you'd have this for your one-on-one -on -one as well, is an outline of your coaching program. So how long is your coaching program, by the way? Is it three months, six months, nine months? Your one-on-one -on -one program, are you done for you? Your one-on-one -on -one service, how long does that go for? How long is it? 12 weeks? Okay, awesome. Yeah, 12 weeks, 12 weeks. So here's a question to you, Jade. What happens at the end of 12 weeks when they finish the program? What happens at the end of 12 weeks when they finish the program? Renew, same program. Okay, we're going to talk about this shortly. Okay, awesome. Yeah, okay, awesome. So even if your program is longer than 12 weeks, I would just have like the first 12 weeks on here. So the third slide is to create clarity and build certainty because a confused mind is an inactive mind. We're talking about the context of selling. So if you're about to sell your service and people feel confused or they don't feel like they have enough clarity, are people going to commit, make a decision and sign up? They're not. So you want people to feel clear and certain if they join now, what's going to be happening. So here's the next steps if we work together. Okay. Session one, we create a success blueprint. Session two, we refine your avatar message, your pitch deck. Session three, we create your sales scripts and pre-qualifying process. Step four, we launch a business. Step five, optimize social media. Step six, um, we help you with the content, personalize your content, video, short form, long form blogs. Session seven, we launch your online events. Eight, set up your funnels. Nine, business and financial systems, budgeting and forecasting. Session 10, we help you launch a group. Session 11, scale and building a team. Session 12, expansion. This is designed to get you to, this is the first four weeks, the minimum of four weeks, but ideally, we're going to do this for at least six months. Okay, it's a minimum term program for 12 weeks. I'll talk a little bit more about it shortly. What this does is it paints a picture of what's going to be happening over the upcoming weeks and months so that they feel clear and certain. First slide, capture attention. Second slide, build or boost perceived value. Third is an outline of the And the fourth is the payment options. Okay, now this is my actual uh, slides that I'm currently using. So we have options, always have options. Now I'm doing this a little bit differently because obviously we've got pretty big infrastructure and I have a team of coaches. You guys would have seen it just put on two new business coaches. Um, amazing, by the way. Um, 
we're blessed to have them great great quality high caliber coaches um so basically what you can see here is you can work with me for 399 a week you can work with one of the coaches 199 a week we can work in a group program for 99 a week right which is the deal we're doing at the moment but what you would have on here is you'd have your one-on-one -on -one program okay you'd have your one-on-one -on -one program and you would have two options you'd have an upfront option and a payment plan a couple of reasons number one would you rather make consistent or inconsistent income would you rather make consistent or inconsistent income who would rather make consistent income so here's the thing about a lot of coaches and high ticket coaches but tell you charge as much as you can if you should you if you if you if you can you should um and take just upfront payments and but here's the problem a lot of people are making no money for a month 10 grand one week you know how people take a screenshot of their strike just with 10 grand they didn't make any money the previous eight weeks they got inconsistent income you cannot build a real business like that i'm not saying don't take up front i'm just saying that if you want to make 20,000 consistent months, it's going to be a very difficult way to do that. So here is what we personally do. We use direct debit. Okay. So um, how much does everybody charge, by the way, like for your program? So just five grand, 12 weeks, 10 grand, six months, whatever. Just put price and the length. Price and the length. Just put the price and length. Uh, I'm not going to judge you on your prices, by the way. Just curious. 5k 12 weeks is a perfect one right so 5k 12 weeks if i go 5000 divided by 12 that works at a 416 dollars a week if you're my client and you had no clients and you're struggling to get clients i would definitely review that price okay because um it's not about just charging what we want or doing what we want it's doing what's going to be well received and people should you know it's just it's perplexing there's people out there making a lot less money than I do, charging a lot more, and they're struggling and they're wondering why. Um, just because you should, and just because you can, doesn't mean you should. And I'm, I'm not saying don't charge a great amount of money. What I often do is like I was a part of opening a lot of gyms. You know, I was a business coach for many years for gym owners, studio owners, etc. And what happens when you open a gym? Who's ever joined a gym without opening? You become a foundation member. You get a foundation deal. So if you're struggling to get clients, or you've been doing this for a while and something's not right my suggestion is do a foundation offer is do an offer where you know it's normally five grand first couple of clients we're going to get two and a half grand build your confidence boost your confidence you get in a couple of clients getting some credibility and then when you're ready you can increase your prices if you're not selling reduce your price for whatever reason oh well but my coach told me not to cut into my profit margins well you don't have any profit you're not making any money <laughs> and so it's like you know, so I would, uh, and by the way, I'm not telling you to, to decrease your price. I'm just saying if that's what's happening. So, so here's the deal. If your program is less than $5,000, I highly recommend using direct debit. Okay. Uh, a good company uses gocardless.com, gocardless.com, cardless.com. Okay. They work in most countries across the globe. Awesome thing about a direct debit company, if you're using, I, I use Stripe. Uh, for digital products use paypal for upfront payments but they're online banks with tremendous fees they don't follow up missed payments they're not a good tracking system they're a mess for my bookkeeper she hates both of them especially with zero and everything uh, and the international order we get clients in 90 countries go cardless what they'll do is all of our clients pay on friday every wednesday we use a company called uh pay smart but it's only available in australia new zealand so i'd recommend go cardless Every Wednesday, one lump sum, we get that money. Imagine every Wednesday, five grand. Next Wednesday, five grand. Next Wednesday, five grand. Next Wednesday, five grand. That so you would get that. Okay. They follow up missed payments. They track everything. If your clients want um, reports for tax purposes, you can send them those reports. You don't have to do invoicing or anything like that. Automated, smooth, paid in one lump sum. Great system. Direct debit companies are the way to go if you want to credit. Work. Also, now you can forecast your cash flow 12 weeks in advance. You can have your budget set for 12 weeks in advance, your forecast set. You can balance your books three months in advance. How, would you, how much better would you sleep at night if you had your books balanced in advance three months ahead? You knew how much you're going to earn each week for the next three months. So that's the power of that. Now, I love upfront payments. I love chunks. Don't get me wrong. I want to take them, and I do take them. But I use them as cream. They fuel my investment account, my travel account, my bucket list account, my charity account, uh, my crypto account, whatever, right? Okay, my NFTs. I put them into that. To build your base, to get to 20,000, you want the bulk of your income to be consistent. So if you're making less than $5,000, 
Okay, I was director, uh, suggest director, but if you're making, uh, sorry, if you're charging less than $5,000, $5, spit out, Jason. If you are charging less than $5,000, I would use direct debit. If you're using more than that, you could use a financing company. So the client still gets a payment plan option, but you get it up front if you really wanted to do that. Uh, I don't do that, no matter how, how you know, even if it's a $20,000 or $50,000 program, I just put them on direct debit. I want that consistent income each week. So in a nutshell, though, you want to give your client two options, an upfront option and a payment plan where they can pay weekly or monthly. I like weekly because then you get consistent income and give them the choice. If you want to take and you say, Jason, I don't want to do that. I just want to take a lot front. Fine. You got to do whatever you want to do. Don't listen to me. That's cool. If you don't want consistent income, you don't want consistent income. If that's the case, set up financing so you can give them a payment option, a payment plan option. Give your clients at least two options, no more than three. And your conversions will skyrocket. Yeah. But so Debbie, if your uh, pro how long does your program go for for 5K? 5K for how long does it go for? 12 weeks, yeah. So, for, so again, 5,000 divided by 12, that's 416. So you might do a payment plan of 399 for 14 weeks, right? Think about the psychology of the number. Like, look at my numbers. Think about the psychology of this because what happens is, so uh, I like, like 199 a week is a great number. Why do I like $199 a week? Here's the deal. If you were to charge $199 a week for your program and you gain two clients every week, how much money would you be making in 12 months from now? $1 million a year, 20 grand a week. Who would like to be making 20 grand a week in a year? It's a great model. It makes sense logistically, numerically, and also psychologically. It's just a really great model. It's a great number. Okay, 199, 299, 399. So, and there's, hey, you can work with me for 400 bucks, or you can cut that in half, work with one of our amazing coaches, cut that in half again. I, we don't get notice. We sell everybody on this. We did, like, we have a 92% conversion rate. A question, Jason. Um, yes, when, when you have them paying weekly, monthly, how, do you set a contract where it's, it's um, a done deal, or can people stop paying? Yeah, so that's a great question. So for for, for um, we always so for our programs, here's what you got to do. So if you have a whatever your core offer is, if it has an end date, there needs to be a continuation program. Otherwise, you can't create consistent long term income. When we're talking about creating a real business, forget about coaches or whatever here. Logistically, if you have a coaching program, it's your primary stream of income. It's your core offer that has an end date. Then you have to keep reselling. It's like personal training selling a 10 pack versus paying weekly. When you join a gym for 12 months membership, you pay monthly. Does it stop after 12 months? No, it's a minimum term. So my business coaching program is a minimum 12 week program. It keeps coming out. It's, an, uh, it's until further notice. It's just me go the hiccups. It's until further notice, it keeps going. Now you can have a program that has an end date that's fine, but it needs to be a continuation program of some kind, a mastermind group program in the circle, renew something. But the thing is, is that if it has an end date, if your core offer has an end date, then you've got to, you've, you've got to sell more. That's just the fact. So I want my, personally, I want my core offer to not have an end date or to have a continuation program, personally, um, if that makes sense, yeah. Yeah, so so I suggest that if it's a one-on-one -on -one coaching program, if it's 12 weeks, it's a minimum term, 12 weeks. It keeps going until they want to stop. It's a minimum term, six months. That's what I suggest. Okay. Um, we'll talk about group coaching shortly. We're, going to, we're falling way behind. Well, um, PayPal business allows clients to pay up front to use PayPal credit and pay them in installments. Yes, it's just a terrible system. It has ridiculous fees. It's hard to follow up and it's very clunky. Also ask any bookkeeper. It's a terrible system for accounting. PayPal is an online bank. It's a terrible system to take the bulk of your income. Um, and it's just a mess. They don't follow up missed payments. You get it sporadically. The fees are massive. They just increase their fees again, like huge compared to other things. Um, and it's just a clunky, terrible system. I use it to, to send upfront invoices. Someone pay something up front. But I, I the, your, so the key to making a living online, if you want to quit your job and do this full time, if you want to make a living online, you need to be able to forecast your cash flow. Because when you have a job, you have a false sense of security because there's predictability in your income. If you want to make a living online, 
yes, not just survive, but thrive, then you need to have predictability in your income. You cannot do that in PayPal Australia. I mean, you can set ongoing payments. Yes, but then they don't follow up. They're all clunky. There's, again, direct evidence, logistically, the best way. Then they, you can do whatever the heck you want. People just normally opt for what they want to do. If you look at any big business, they all do direct debit. Every large company, even online, they all use direct debit, like Go Carvers. All of them without fail. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to do final prospects. Being it. Oh, that's <laughs> uh, thanks for the advice. Do you find offering weekly is better than monthly? I like weekly, bro, better than monthly. You know, Dubai have a monthly cash flow cycle. UK do as well. Uh, it's kept a lot of places have a monthly cash flow cycle. I like weekly because I work on a weekly cash flow cycle. Personally, my company works on a weekly. All of our clients pay on Friday. Who's a client with us? You all pay on a Friday that are direct debit. Um, you know, all of our VA clients pay on a Friday. All the business coaching clients pay on a Friday. And then it goes into our account. One of them. It's just tidy. It's clean. I don't want to think about it. I want to, and I don't even take care of it. Noemi takes care of it as well. And then my financial team, bookkeepers and accountants take care of it. Update my zero and take care of my profit and loss statements. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Anyway, we spent a lot of time on that. Um, yeah. Any other questions? There? Just post them in the chat box if you do. Yeah. Me personally, I use uh, direct debit for my my core offer. I use Stripe for digital products because we have digital courses and so forth. Even on my uh, when I sign people up on these things, like the group business coaching programs, actually on it. The reason why the group business coaching programs on it because it has actually has a funnel, so it's set up on a funnel. That's why. And uh, yeah, I use PayPal for upfront payments. We are way behind. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, Fred, do you use a direct debit service? Yeah, I do. Of course. Uh, I use PaySmart in Australia. I started using it 13 years ago. We got a lot of clients on there, so I've kept it. But we get all of our clients now to use GoCardless, gocardless.com. How do you use direct, uh, direct debit for overseas? It's, it's set up for overseas. It's not a problem. It just automatically converts. Yeah. Uh, and we are going to set this up, Kerry, in the program as well. Go Cardless is yeah, really good. 125 weekly. But I will say this. When you create your pitch deck, have to op, op, you, you want to give your clients a payment plan option, even if there is a financing option, but give them a payment plan option. Uh, I like the 199 a week mark. If you've got no clients or if you're struggling to get clients, I would do like a 199 deal. Normally, 290, it's normally 399 slash next two clients. Put it on your pitch deck. As a like a, I did it in December. We did a fifty percent off deal. Um, I'm happy to do that. Build a bit of belief, get a bit of momentum, get some clients in, get some revenue. If you've got no clients and you cut your price in half and you get five clients, you're making a lot. More, you're making more money than what you're making before. <laughs> you can increase your prices at any stage as well. Uh, I, I will say this: so when I increase prices, I don't tend to touch the price of my current clients. I don't want to poke the bear. Uh, I've seen some, uh, yeah, yeah, not, not, not work out too well. Can you repeat that, please? Repeats which part? About uh, you're not poking a bear. You, you say yeah. So, so you, I'm saying you can increase prices at any stage, which I recommend. So, so let's say that it's just you and you start at 199 dollars per week, which is a really great number. 99, 199, 299, something like that. So let's say it's 199 per week as an example. Okay, pretty good number. Okay, you get five clients and you want to increase your price, so you increase your price to 299. You only increase the price for the new clients on your pitch deck. You don't touch the existing. That's what I personally do anyway. I don't want to poke that there. Okay. And then, then what you'll notice I did on my pitch deck here is, so when I, start, I actually, that's how I started. I started as 199 a week for business coaching, went to 299. And then I hired a coach. And then my price was double the coaches because I don't want any more one-on-one -on -one clients. I don't want more one-on-one -on -one clients right now. Okay. I work with a small group and I'm happy with that. Okay, and then when we launched group, we did group for half the price of one-on-one. -on -one. So we're going to talk a bit about, about group more shortly, but here's the thing about group. Uh, who's still trying to work out the price of group? My suggestion is that whatever the price of your one-on-one -on -one program is, your group program is half the amount. So that way, when you sell it, you can drop sell it. You can say, hey, my one-on-one -on -one program is 200 bucks. Okay, oh, I can't afford that. What if I cut that in half? You still get to see me for an hour a week instead of half an hour. Okay, and you get everything to program. Would that be easy for you? Half price, damn, on me. So that 50, 50, 50, that it just works really well in the in the, the mind of the buyer as well. So so if you and you know down the track, you're making 20,000, that's a pretty good structure there. 400 for you, 200 for another coach, 100 for group coaching, as an example. Then day you can charge whatever you like, but that's the problem. We normally charge what we want 
We don't normally think about how it's going to receive and how it's going to impact sales. So, you know, that's what I would suggest. Anyway, um, let's keep moving forward because we're way behind. Any questions so far? All good? Is that useful, by the way? Debbie, this is so good. So I have to jump for a client. Oh, good. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we're, we're, we are running way behind, by the way, like way behind. I'm, I might have to speed through some of these things uh, a little bit more, but uh, yes, thank you so much. Sometimes I just feel a calling like it's relevant. We need to spend a bit more time on certain things. What's happening on the Facebook? Are you guys still with us? Cindy? Welcome on the Facebook. Nice. So, okay. So we've got the mindset right. We've got the numbers right. We've got the sales and SPs right. Now it's time to launch. I'm gonna. I'm not going to spend much time on this. I'm going to move through this launch very quickly. Uh, what I'll do is I've got a one-hour training on my entire launch process in depth for those that aren't clients. I'll put that video training in the group tomorrow so you can watch that properly with the full launch. In a nutshell, though, with the launch, though, what we do is we uh, we do two things. We set up a prize draw and a webinar. Whenever I launch, oh, by the way, it could be a relaunch. So once you rebrand and repackage and everything we just went through, even if you've got clients or established, you now have an excuse to relaunch. So basically, when you launch or relaunch, we want to announce to the world, your social media following, your email list, your phone list, that you're doing this new cool thing. And the best way to do that is to give one away. So whenever I launch anything, you'll notice that Fred, Fred won a free seat. Actually, um, couple of you won. Stacy won one as well. Stacy and Fred both won free seats to my group program. Yeah, and I did that to create attention, to show I actually care, and to give people an opportunity, which is really cool. Yeah, you won it. Stacy won the other day. Stacy won the group program one day, and the next day I hired a VA from us. What a great week that was, eh? We didn't even really know each other a week ago, and look at us now. <laughs> yeah um that was crazy that was just even i was like that's crazy div divinity it was just like yeah it was insane so i want to launch my new business coaching program my challenges people don't know who i are what i do and how do i pre-qualify people and find out who's interested the best way to find out who's interested is to give away a free seat hey i'm giving away an eight-week free seat to my upcoming program what's half an hour a week of my time that's all it is i get to help someone i get a testimonial I can utilize that as credibility now, I can set up a prize, draw an event bright and go, hey, I'm giving away eight-week free, you know, $4,000 prize, whatever it is, okay? And now I can promote that through our marketing strategies and people enter in the prize draw. And on average, people get 30 to 50 people entering that draw. Let's say I only get 30. I now have 30 phone numbers of people I know are interested in my program. I announce one as the winner, the 29 remaining. I ring them and I book them in for appointments. There's three, four, five clients. To add to that, what I actually do is I do a, because um, I do a, like a teaser post, a pre-launch and then a launch. We kind of have a three-step process. I'll post the full video in the group. You can watch it tomorrow. Uh, for those in the group coaching program, we do this together over a few weeks, like in depth. So that's awesome. So again, all the stuff in this webinar, uh, sorry, in this workshop we're doing, guys, for the group coaching program, we go through like in depth um, and do together in the group program. But then what we do is we do a webinar and I might do a, a free webinar called how to build 20,000 a month in your online coaching business. I spend a week or two promoting it. And, and I now have two landing pages where I can collect people's details. 30 people on the webinar, 30 people on the prize draw, I get 50, 60, 70 people. I do the webinar, give some value, show people I know what I'm talking about. End of the webinar, I draw the winner. That gets people on the webinar. Now I've got like 50 people to call. Booking for appointments, there's 15, 20 appointments and my first five clients. It's not that easy, but it's definitely that simple. Uh, it's not uncommon for the people I work with that do this properly to get five clients just from our launch. I've got a, uh, it's about a 50 minute training, I think, on the exact process, but who would like to learn my exact in depth five step process and how to launch properly? You guys like that? Yeah, I'll post the full training just about 50 minutes in the group tomorrow if you want to check that out when you're ready. You can check that out. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, I'd like to just get back on track with time because we're a bit behind here. <laughs> so we launch with a bang, right? And we use the launch, we use the webinar, we use the prize draw and that strategy to get our first handful of clients. Um, we can eat. 
<laughs> we don't have to eat minute noodles or ramen noodles or migraine noodles, depending where in the world you are. Minute noodles, migraine, ramen noodles. Who's ever done the noodle diet before? I think we all have. I was once so broke, we had black and gold noodles, which is a home brand here in Australia. Not very nice. Uh, I did like the migraine ones. You know the ones with the picture on the egg on the front? I actually really like those. Um, the only problem was I was so broke, I'd eat them, I'd get depressed because what could I not afford? Bloody egg on the, on the front. <laughs> Eggs were expensive, yeah. Awesome wig, love. Awesome. So, okay, so, you know, we've taken the time to refine our cells, SOPs. We've got our mindset right. Okay, we've done our launch over a couple of week process. We've got a couple of clients. To continue that momentum, we need to keep marketing. And we need to keep booking appointments. At this point in your business, the only thing, and for many of you, you're already here right now. Many of you have already gone through what I've just shared with you, but just not refined in depth and in a world-class or professional manner. If you did or had, then you'd already have five or 10 clients. Um, so at this point, the one thing that'll be slowing you down or stopping you from growing faster is a lack of quantity and quality of appointments. Here is the... Uh, four things that I believe that you want or need to have to get those appointments. Before I, before we work, before I share them with you though, I just want you to understand the marketing funnel. Some of you are playing the emotional roller coaster game of business. You want to stop doing that and play the numbers game. I'm not saying dissociate emotionally and become a sociopath with clients. Yes, care about clients. Yes, love on clients. Yes, be emotional about results and all that stuff, 100%. I'm talking about the business. Business is a numbers game. It's not an emotional game. If you're emotional about your business, it's going to be a problem. How do we dissociate emotionally? Well, with these numbers. The way we build a business is through a marketing funnel. Um, and I'm just going to explain what I mean. If I go, I've got to remember how to do this. If I go annotate... Uh, actually, I just want to go stop share here. We share. I'm going to draw on my screen. I, I think I can draw on my screen like this. Okay, you should be able to see my Word document now. Yes, click on that. And I want to do draw. So if I have a marketing funnel, okay. It's the first time ever doing this, so it could be terrible. Let's see how we go. <laughs> So this is my marketing funnel. So this is how I grow my business. I'm not talking about a sales funnel. You know, I'm talking about a marketing funnel. So in the service industry, we have a marketing funnel. At the top of the funnel, what's at the very top of our marketing funnel? Does anybody know? The very top of your marketing funnel. What's the first thing you need to do? Online? What's, your, what's your first challenge online? It's attention. Top of the marketing funnel is attention or what I call engaged attention. The problem with tracking the metrics of that is the metrics are really vanity metrics and they're not very accurate for uh, for duplication. So in business, the reason why people love ads is because once you collect data, you now have a predictable model. You know, if you put X amount of dollars in, you're going to get X amount of leads, X amount of conversions, X amount of clients revenue. Organic is a much harder to do that, but it's possible. So this is why this marketing funnel is so important to build a real business. Okay, so the first metric we're going to talk about is leads okay. at the top. So the top of the funnel is leads. Okay. And then, so we generate leads and then what happens from the leads? We book an appointment, right? We book an appointment. <laughs> this is good. But this is booked appointments, right? So we book an appointment and what's the next part of the funnel? That appointment needs to show up. So it's showed appointments. And then those appointments show up and then what happens? We sell to them, they become a client. So these are the four metrics you need to know on your journey to building to 20K. So I want to ask each of you a question. How many clients do you need to build to 20,000 a month? You need to work that out really quickly. How many clients do you need to build to 20,000 a month? So that's $5,000 a week, right? So if I charge $200 a week to make 5,000 a week, I need 25 clients. Now this doesn't include groups yet, but for now I'm just going to um, work this out. So if I'm charging $200, I need 25 clients. 
in six months, which means I only need one client per week, right? Are you guys with me? So if I'm if I want to make five thousand dollars a week in six months, and I'm charging two hundred a week, five thousand divided by two hundred is twenty five. So I need twenty five clients. And six months is twenty six weeks. That means what? If I get a client a week, now I always like to underestimate, overcompensate. I always round up. So who would agree that if you got two new clients every week, that that would work, right? So the target here is two clients. So this is what you all need to work out. Okay, so if I get two clients every week, that's my goal. So that means come Monday, you have one goal. What's your goal? To get two clients. But how do we get two clients? We get clients from sales calls. So when you get on 10 sales calls, how many do you confer? Does everybody post in the chat box? If you get 10 sales calls, how many do you confer? What do you have? 50%, 60%? So let's say that, you know, oh, Jason, if I get on a call to 10, I convert uh, 33 of them, all right? I get a 33% conversion rate. So if you know the numbers and you play the numbers, it is impossible to fail. That's why you play the numbers game. You can't lose the numbers game in business. The rich get rich and the poor get poor in business because they know numbers and they play numbers, not the emotional roller coaster game. It's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of good. I don't feel like doing this. So I want to do this. So I don't like, it's not how I am. So, if you have a 33% conversion rate and I sign one out of every third to get two clients, how many sales calls do I need to do each week to get two clients? If my conversion rate is 30%, how many showed sales calls do I need to do each week to get two clients? Not this not a trick question. What's the answer? You guys still with me? Is this thing on? Does everyone know the answer? So I need two clients. I have a 33% conversion rate, one third. What's <laughs> how many appointments do I need to do for the week to get two clients? No one wants to play. Are you guys still listening? You're eating food? I need six appointments, right? I need six appointments. Hey, thanks, Jade. So if I book six, if I if I do six showed appointments, okay. That means I'm going to get the clients. These are the things I can control. But not everybody shows up, do they, for a free call, even if we confirm them. So let's say only 50% show up. Uh, let's say, sorry, 60% show up. That means I need to book in 10 appointments. Okay, so my focus is what? Two clients or 10 appointments? 10 appointments. And to get 10 appointments, I'm going to need about 30 leads. Right? So I've got to focus. Focus on the top one. How do I get 30 phone numbers this week? A webinar, a prize draw, my funnels. I get 30 phone numbers and I call them. I'm going to get 10 appointments, six show up, two clients. That's it. So my focus is what? This, the top of the funnel. And I work with my VA and my team to do that. So me, for mine right now, I have to give my guys at least 300. Okay? So what my suggestion is, this is my suggestion for, is I would actually... Um, I would chunk up. I would actually aim for if I do raise it here. So I think two new clients a week is great for everybody. That's a good target for most of you. That'll give you 20k. How do we get new two new clients every single week? Uh I would actually uh, I would actually aim for 50 leads per week. This is what we aim for in the in the program. I would aim for 15 booked appointments. And I would actually aim for eight showed. Now you only need 25% conversion rate. These are the numbers. Now, if you look at scaling a business, for those that want to scale a big business, when you get to 20K, from a 100K program, we just got to hire people to generate leads, hire people to book the appointments, hire people to confirm the appointments, hire people to sell in the appointments, hire people to service them. Now I've got a business that can work without me. That marketing funnel is so crucial and so important, even at this level of a business, if you're feeling confused, that's good. You need to spend more time learning and understanding the marketing part. It's very simple. These are your four most important metrics and KPIs in your business right now. Leads, appointments booked, appointments showed, new clients. You could add retention at the bottom if you wanted to. Right now, it's not as important. Down the track, it will be. But these four, you should be obsessed with. You should know. You should be working towards. Your entire business is built on those four numbers right now. Does anyone have any questions on that? So I want all of you to, in your own time, work out these numbers. 
Jace, I need two clients, eight showed 15. This here is what I would suggest all of you work on, 50, 15, eight, and two. That's what I work on with my clients in the 20K program. Great numbers. I've never seen somebody stick to these numbers and not hit 20K in six months. I've never not seen it happen, ever, period. Never not seen it happen. No. Uh, any questions on that? Any questions? Speak now, forever hold them. You guys are very quiet now. For some of you, it might be a bit late for that stuff, is it? Is that good? Is that useful, by the way? Oh, no, we're talking about the business stuff. Cool. No questions? Good? Useful? Useful? Awesome. Yeah, so in a very simplified manner, leads generated, like track these every week, and we'll track, we track this in our program. Leads generated, appointments, booked appointments, show new clients. They're your four metrics. Have your targets each week, play that numbers game. Really, it comes down, really, it's not even so much about leads and more it's appointments. It's very simple. How do we get you at least 10 appointments every week? You get at least 10 appointments every week, you're going to get you two clients. In fact, if you said, Jason, I love all this, this is great content, but tell me the one thing. What's the one thing from today? If I only did just that one thing, it would guarantee I'd hit 20K in six months. It's very simple. If you find a way to book 10 appointments a week, two appointments every day, you'd hit your target. So that means that every day when you wake up, your focus is very simple. How do I get to appointments? That's it. And that's how I've always crushed everything I've done from personal. When I was a personal trainer, I booked 100 sessions a week. As a business coach, I had 52 clients as a business coach, one on one, too many, by the way. Okay. As, as, a, as a life coach, as a fitness coach, as a business coach, nutrition coach. In the coaching consulting space, I've always, you guys have seen my schedule. Even now, when I choose my hours, this is my schedule next week. I choose. Uh, go back to week. Right. But these are sales calls. I've got over 20 sales calls, and that's not the sales team, that's me. These dark blue and light blue ones, these are sales calls next week because we play the numbers game and we focus on appointments. 80% of your time should be spent on that marketing funnel. Is it going to get me a lead? Is it going to get me an appointment? Is it going to get me a client? Or am I servicing a client? If it's not going to do one of those four things, don't waste your time with it at this point. Will this generate me a lead, get me an appointment, get me a client, or service a client? No, don't do it. 80% of time, that's it. Focus all your energy on that and watch what begins to happen. Yeah. So four things you need to book solid. Number one, uh, I'm going to move a bit faster here because we're like 50 minutes left. Who's glad you came, by the way? I know I'm moving pretty quickly here. And we're getting to that time where people are, oh, do I need my blood sugar? Yeah, very useful. Awesome. This is great. Thanks. Awesome. Yeah, it's good stuff. Again, I'm giving the checkpoints. Rachel, it's great. Awesome. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. 100%, 100% awesome. Useful, useful. Hey, we've got the Facebook still going. Joe, Mary, hey guys. Four things you need to get book solid with appointments, I believe. Number one, your own public Facebook community group. Okay, I'm not going to go too in-depth about that. I've done a lot of trainings on that. Uh, by the way, guys, if you're not yet on my YouTube um, if you're here and you're still putting up in my ugly mug and my intensity, you must get some value from what I'm sharing. But I'll be honest, I'm bloody good at what I do because I've been doing it for such a long time and I'm obsessed with getting better with this. I put a lot of my content on my YouTube. So if you're enjoying, if you enjoy my content, like subscribe to my YouTube. I'll post the link in the Zoom. Because you can just like immerse yourself in my content in there. There's heaps of great content in there. Uh, post it in. There. I'll post my the link in there. So this is my YouTube. There is how many videos on here? Seven hundred and seventy-four videos on here. Sis. So if you enjoy my content, uh, and we now edit everything professionally, so it looks much nicer. Become a student of my content. You know, join my YouTube. We put heaps of content on there, and uh become a student on there and just immerse yourself in my content on there. If you enjoy this workshop, you enjoy my uh, style, my training, my content. Um, and if you put that stuff aside, you know, our content is brilliant. Like it's well in sales and marketing systems and SOPs and team stuff is brilliant. I probably biased that, uh, but feel free to check out my YouTube channel. Um, there's a lot of the how-to stuff on there as well. So how do I set up my public Facebook community? The best way I found to get appointments Online is by having your own public Facebook group, optimize, grow that, nurture people in there. Put four pieces of content in there each day, one live video, one blog post, one question, one poll. Have at least one event every month, webinar, masterclass, challenge. 
and have five funnels or offers set up. If you have those four things in place, marketing wise, that's all you need to do. Plus, uh, I should probably put emails in there. Plus your emails. Okay, I would add emails to that. If you just have those five things set up, that's enough to get you to 20K. You don't need websites. You don't need bots. You don't need chat GPT AI. Don't need anything else marketing wise. Those four things from a marketing perspective, when done right, will get you to 20K. Now, to go from 20K to 100K, you probably definitely need more. You know, maybe ads and other things for sure. Maybe a web website, maybe a podcast, maybe you write your book. But it's really those four things. And we have an entire traction marketing system built around those four things. Yeah. So um, now in regards to funnels, I'm not going to spend too much time on this. The key to organic marketing is omnipresence. Omnipresence is the cornerstone of uh, traction marketing. And the, corner, the cornerstone of that is two-step appointment setting funnels because funnels will allow you to be able to turn social media followers into email list and, and phone list. And the key to building an online marketing, an online business rather, is to build, is to optimize your social media, email and phone lists, build them, nurture them, add value and create relationships, turn those people into leads, appointments and their clients. That's it. It's really simple. Don't you know, I love how I make things feel? It seems so simple. It really is that simple. And then consistently doing this over and over. Thing is, people get bored. They get complacent. People quit. They do things for a month or two. How many people are doing daily content every day for years? Not many. Most don't do it for months. The reason why I'm successful in what I do online is because I am consistent. Especially my content. Especially This is my third event. In like We did a challenge last week, webinar the week before. We got the workshop today. Uh, we've got a group coaching program. Um, we're consistent. You want to be consistent. We're consistent with our videos. We're consistent with our blogs. Okay. So consistency is important. But once you've got five clients, you want to set up these two-step appointment setting funnels because what happens is um, people go to the ebook or they go to the kit or they go to the funnel. They go to one of your free offers and then they enter in the details. Have a look at uh, this one here. So here's... This is the my my free funnels on here. Then you collect the name, email, phone number, and country. And when people enter in their details, they go to a thank you page. On the thank you page, there are two things. One, a button or a link to book in a call for a free coaching session to get an appointment. So you're now getting appointments on the thank you page. We use Go High Level. So you'll get an SMS immediately with a link to my calendar. You've got an email immediately with a link to my calendar. And what will happen is one of my team will give you a call. Hey, Jason's asked me to give you a call because you downloaded your files. Did you get them? You did? You didn't? Let me send them to you. You did? Oh, do you need help setting them up? We can help you. By the way, Jason would love to get on a call and see how we can fast track your business. Four different ways to get an appointment from one thing, and it's free for them, and you're adding value to them, and you're building your three lists. When used in the entire system, there is no one thing more impactful. A lot of people will use... Um, Funnels for ads, like a tripwire funnel. Basically, you're selling digital products on the back end. That's to fuel ad spend. Organically, these are much better. So if you have at least five clients, I highly recommend you set these up. I've actually just put this together last week um, where you can use my personal funnels. Over the last two years, I've been testing. There's actually six funnels in here. And these are my personal funnels. We've generated tens of thousands of leads from hundreds of appointments, dozens of clients from these funnels. If you'd like, you can use my own funnels however you want, and you can personalize them and use those. Um, if you're using ClickFunnels or Go Hello, we can just add them to your account. If not, um, you can get a free 14-day trial to Go High Level. Go High Level is brilliant because do I have my good? I do. So this is Go High Level, and we're running our entire VA agency from it because it's the only platform in the world where you can make calls from, you can SMS and do autoresponder SMS, emails, funnels. SAS, um, software as a service, uh, websites, full websites, everything in one place, and it's a pipeline. So my DM marketers can come into here on socials and all LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok are all in there in one place. And everything is tracked with everything as well. Like they can see who's spoken to who and whatever, it's all in one place. So we're currently moving everything over to it. Uh, if you want a free 14 day trial, let me know. Send me a private message, we'll send that to you. If you want these funnels, Here's the link to the funnels. Here's the link to the funnels. I just post it in the Zoom chat. You can grab those funnels free. 
Now, if you're here, I invite you to become a student of what I'm doing because I don't practice what I preach. I preach what I practice. I go and test something and test it again and refine it. And when I've nailed it, I share it with you guys. That's what I do. Everything I do or teach is what I am personally doing. When I change what I do, I change what I teach. It's called flexibility and growth. And I'm telling you now, like we had, we generated 212 leads in one day last week on Wednesday. Go hell level has just blown shit out of the way. I just, I've never seen anything like it. it. It's just incredible. Like even for this event, you got text notifications, even though it was wrong. <laughs> it was our first event on Go High Level though. So I'm not too surprised or bothered, but we will work on that. That's the same with events. So imagine you set up an event, people get a notification 24 hours before and, and an hour before with the Zoom link because people don't read emails or, or check their Facebook or whatever it might be as well. So just a brilliant all-around system. Even if you're not using Go High Level, once you have five clients, you want five free offers. Um, now, once you download this, if you if you want to grab these funnels, I did quickly show you, you can download these funnels for those that want them. You'll get an SMS as well, uh, which you'll notice. It'll take you to a thank you page as an email to you. It's kind of like a mini course, and it takes you in here. You can actually get a free 14-day trial to go high level. Check it out for yourself. If you need help setting up integrations, my tech team can do it for you. Uh, I can connect you with them if you need help with your go high level. Um, uh, has anyone heard of Peng Jun? Peng Jun is a really uh, well-known internet marketer in the States, but his, the, the woman that is his trainer for all his VAs is training all of our VAs in a couple of weeks, doing a three-hour training on using Go High Level, using the phone features. We're stopping using Skype using this, SMS features, and the social media pipeline. And there's appointment setting, uh, 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 there's, it does, there's appointment setting features in as well. So you can just come in here and you can add these funnels to your Go High Level. And I've actually put some videos down the bottom here on training and how to set them up in that as well. And it's all free. Uh, even if you just want to grab that and check out Go High Level. Uh, if you watch it on Facebook, I'll post the link in afterwards. So, But even if you're not using Go High Level, using something else or not interested, fine. Set up five two-step appointment setting funnels anyway. Um, so you're getting more appointments from those funnels. will make a huge difference. Any questions on that? Uh, Stacy, lots of love. I didn't use this funnels linker, so I use Groove. Uh, Carrie using Groove. Okay, cool. Charlie embodying. I started using Go Hello Ball. Yeah, missed call text back. Yeah. So we just set up our phone. So when, uh, so Marion starts using, uh, use our phone call, our full time phone call post that on Monday, she starts using Go High Level. So she rings somebody. Okay. And they don't answer. It's my recorded voicemail that they get. So all these people are around getting my voice, not hers. And then they can ring her back or SMS back and she can interact through SMS. And so my phone call experts and that can now interact through SMS through missed calls, use my voicemail and get more appointments. So I'm I'm super excited because we just started ads. We spent three weeks testing ads, just put two grand a week into ads starting from last week with all this stuff as well. Like we're ready to scale. We're ready to, I'm publishing my third and fourth book. Like we're we're ready for massive expansion, right? So it's been like two years setting everything up and we, we executed our massive expansion plan in full swing last week. So very excited about next month or so. So you're going to see a lot more about Go High Level. You're going to see a lot of people, a lot of the big guys are now because it's just, it is the best platform. It's not my opinion. It is the best platform. Anyone who uses it will tell you it's the best platform. Um, already subscribed. Good, 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 good. The workflows and automations are next level to the point it's Chinese to me, Rachel. Um, uh, but my ads guy, my tech team, because my bot guys in Pakistan, my, my tech teams in India, my ads guys in the US, and then my Filipino team, and then my managers, they all take care of it. I don't want to deal with it. I was like, just do this for me. Yes, done. Can I do this? Yes, do it. <laughs> Uh, so I'm blessed to have just amazing people, uh, but the workflows are just insane what they can do. Um, because with our Facebook ads, we're split testing Facebook lead ads, um, two-step appointment setting funnel, and the actual funnel. If you don't want to talk about that's fine. So we're doing a lot of split testing at the moment. Um, and the workflows have just been a godsend for Facebook ads as well. Yeah, like amazing. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about launching group coaching. Okay, so at this point, you know, uh, so at this point, we should be at 
okay, I've got book solid. I've got my 10 clients. I've got my 15 clients. You know, oh, yeah, I'm making enough to pay the, pay the bills. I quit my job. Oh, that's another thing we didn't do that I would suggest. Sit down and work out a target, how many clients and revenue you need to justify quitting your job. When you hit that, make sure you quit your job. Actually, you're not a quitter. Don't quit. Stop your job. Do this full time. Yeah. Once you've got the amount of one-on-one clients that you want, okay, you want to launch group coaching. Let us spend a little bit more time on this. Now, the awesome thing is, actually, I did a full training on this like two weeks ago. If you go to my YouTube, yeah, right here. So three weeks ago, so here and here, how to launch, then book your online group coaching solid. I'll put my personal group. I did a full one-hour training on my full launch process. But that's what I'm saying about my YouTube. i got so much content there. Not to overwhelm you. The whole idea is I've created a massive system of infrastructure that when you need something, it's there. Okay, I need to set up a VA. I need to launch my group. I need to refine my sales script. I need to fill in the blank. It's covered. Uh, that's why my next book coming out is called The Online Coach's Business Bible, How to Build a Six and Seven Bigger uh, Online Coaching Business. You can use it as an agency or a therapist or a healer as well. It's nearly 400 pages. It's 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 a pretty big book. In my in my editor was like, this is a big book. I'm like, yeah, it's a big it's a Bible. It's like it's gotta be a big book. So uh I'll just touch on the group program launching quickly because I'll post the full launch. So I'll put the full launch of the one-on-one and the full launch of the group. So when you're ready to launch those, you can watch those trainings. Would you guys like those? Or when you're ready, I'll put them in a the group so in a few months you can come back and find them. Nice. Uh, have you tried YouTube ads? Uh, so we're about to. We currently, so we just got Facebook and Instagram ads. We've got Google, Facebook, and Instagram ads running. Uh, we launch YouTube ads next month, which we're super excited about. So you'll notice this is why I'm putting a lot of content on my YouTube. Uh, and it's all edited professionally now. So we're feeding that. So when we start YouTube ads, there's a lot of content for everyone. Uh, and then the following month, TikTok ads. So we've got YouTube ads. So March was about Facebook, Google, and Instagram. March is uh, uh, YouTube ads, and then April is TikTok ads. So yeah, they're on the cards, right? Yeah, we have a big six-month campaign. Uh, yeah, huge. Uh, our goal is to put a million dollars into ads this year. Uh, we're on track for that. So I can't wait to hire one of your VAs. Yeah, man, they're all about our, that's awesome. our VAs are trained in all this stuff by me. Uh, they really are brilliant. They're, like, there's a lot of infrastructure. We have everything you guys need to be successful. Whatever you need online, right? I've been doing this for a decade and it's been a long time and it's uh we have great people great sops and we've taken the time and put in the energy to 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 be able to help you with whatever you guys need online right whatever it's that you want to need and we're not for everybody i'm definitely not for everybody but for those that you know do resonate with what we do and how we do it yeah man we've got everything you need okay so let's talk about launching group launch group is a little bit different to one-on-one -on -one. the biggest mistake that people make when launching group is they don't give themselves enough time to market it. So when when launching group, I would give yourself more time, more time. So I would even give yourself up to eight weeks. I would give yourself six to eight weeks to mark to launch a group. At least six to eight weeks to launch a group. Now, uh, I talk about this in depth in that training. I've never not launched a group program solid. As long as I get at least 20 people in my group, I'm pretty happy. Like the current group we've got now, we've got 19 people. We'll get at least 20. I'm happy between 20 and 30. I used to be like, when I was younger, I'd be like, oh, I have to get X amount. These days I'm pretty, a bit more casual about it, kind of base it on my intuition. We get 20 or 23 or 27 and how I feel about the vibe of it. Um, because a lot of people don't give themselves enough time and then they get like three or four or five people and they're like, well, I feel obligated. And then they look after those people. But it doesn't feel very good, right? Because have you ever been to a boot camp, like a live boot camp? Have you ever been to like a group, uh, like a group training boot camp, and there's like three or four people? It just feels awkward. It just doesn't feel very good. Versus you go to a boot camp, twenty people is like thriving. It's oh, this is awesome, man. It's kind of like group coaching, right? And there needs to be it wants to, you want it to be exclusive, and yes, but there needs to be some vibe and some energy. Like the, you group coaching guys, I, I woke up this morning and there was like thirty messages in the chat, and while I was sleeping, like yeah, you go guys. That you know you're onto something, right? You guys are amazing. Thank you for doing that. That's why it's there. Okay. Um, so you want to launch with a bang and make sure you're getting that target. So if you've never done a group coaching program before, at least 12 is a good number. If you get 12 in your first one ever, it's a pretty good number. 
15 to 20 is a good target to start with. There's three phases to group to launch in the group. Okay. There is the pre-launch, there is the official launch, then there's the follow-up. In the pre-launch, what you need is you need a landing page. So here's the landing page of my one. Okay. Mine's currently on ClickFunnels because oh, I didn't have Go High Level set up yet, but it will be moved to Go High Level. So this is my landing page in my group program coming up. You got my edited video on here. Okay. It's got how it all works, the outline of it, all the stuff you'd expect. So you need a landing page where people can register and pay for it. You want to have that set up. Okay. But don't start promoting that yet. But you want to have that set up. The reason why you want to have that set up is so you're clear on the outline, how it works, and you've got that set. You do not need to create the entire program. You just need an outline of the structure. And let's say it's a 12-week program. You can put each week together like you would a webinar that week. I'll be I'll be really honest with you guys. These slides that you're looking at right now, when do you think I created them? When do you think I put together this workshop and slides? I'm very open about it. Years ago, these slides you're looking at right now. I try I know I like I don't like to use the same slides twice. That way it's fresh. And I don't look at my last time I did it either because I don't want it to influence. Last night, close. So this workshop started at 8 a.m. I got up at 5 a.m. Then I started on, I started, I put the slides together then. <laughs> That's how I work best. It's fresh in my mind. Because also, like, here's the deal. Let's be honest. Do you guys believe that I could, I could, I could talk about this for three hours with no uh, preparation? I, I can, right? So when you're doing a webinar, you're doing a presentation, you should not need to do any preparation because if you're an expert at it you know it inside out you don't need preparation these slides are here more for you than me yeah I, I could i could talk for eight hours on this with no preparation easy not a problem longer i have no problem talking <laughs> well bob used to tell me i talk too much that's funny look at me now mom um that's funny yeah so uh you don't need to prepare your entire program but you've got to know the structure this is what we're doing week one this is what we're doing week, week two so that's why you want the landing page that's all set okay uh, the second thing uh that you need is you need the prize draw and the third thing is the webinar what i do is i'll actually do two webinars so you're going to give away a free seat to the group you're going to do a webinar to announce it in that webinar, you're going to give away the prize draw. But what you're going to do is you're going to sell a one-time offer at the end of the webinar. And then you're going to sell a one-time offer at the end of the other webinar. Okay, so you've got two group sales, which are going to give you five to ten uh, signups. You're going to contact all the prize draw people and book them in for one-on-one. -on -one, and you're going to sign those people up. That's going to be five, ten, fifteen signups. Just from that. Now, what happens when you create your group program my suggestion is the price of it is half the price of your one-on-one, -on -one, so it's a drop sell. And what happens is your one-on-one -on -one was your core offer, but now you've launched group. Your one-on-one -on -one is your upsell and your group becomes your core offer. What that means is that every sales call that you're doing, your appointment set up for you, you're now selling group, not one-on-one. -on -one. So you're always selling group. So you're selling in the webinar, you got the prize draw leads, you're promoting through your content, you're booking, you're sell, selling on your core offer and you've got these people to follow up with. It's a really powerful strategy. It's most people we do with, I, like all of our guys I always get at least that 12 to 15 minimum on that first one. You've got to give yourself that time. Once I've announced on my first webinar, there's three things you're marketing. You're marketing the prize draw, you're marketing the webinar. There's actually two webinars. And then you market directly the actual uh, landing page. If you're broken, money's tight. I shouldn't say that. If you're on a shoestring, money. It's tight. You cannot afford to go out of click funnels, whatever. Okay. You can credit on Eventbrite. Not a problem. It's free. And then you can start promoting directly the actual uh, landing page as well. So you've got three different, uh, there's actually four, two webinars, one prize draw, the landing page. There's four strategies within the campaign and you're following up through one-on-ones. It's a really powerful, really brilliant system. Going to give yourself time. Now, here's the thing about group though. Your group is either going to be evergreen or finite. So what does that mean? It means when people are going to come in and start and finish at the same time, like my upcoming group, which is a six-month program, everybody's going to start and finish at the same time. That's what I call finite program. It has a start date and end date. Some people choose an evergreen, means that people can come and go at any time. It's ongoing. It doesn't have an end date. 
If it doesn't have an end date, you only need one. That's not a problem because it's always going because you need to have a continual group program always that you can sell as, as it's your core offer now. If you're going to use a GH level is group for dead, oh, it, a million times over. <laughs> a million times over, yeah. Awesome, I agree, friend. Um, but at the end of the day, like I'm not here, I didn't tell people what to do. Whatever email you want to use, whatever, whatever SMS you want to use, whatever, whatever you want to do, as long as it does what you want to do, that's all the mass, right? It's all the mass. Each to their own. Some people still like Kajabi and Kartra. Oh my goodness, Kartra is like, oh man, it's like Chinese to me. It's a great platform. They're both great platforms. As long as it does what you want it to do, that's all that matters. Who cares what anyone else says or, or tells you to do, right? Um, <laughs> if your group program is finite, meaning it has to start in, whose group program is like a certain amount of time, like it's finite, 12 weeks, six months, just, if that's yours, what you want to do is you want to cycle them. So here's what I mean by that. I have a group program launching, which is six months. Now, at the end of six months, all the people that are, so everyone's either on payment plan or paid up front. It's about 50-50. I find about 50% pay up front, 50% do payment plan. But there is cyclical, consistent money coming through on that group program. When the program stops, what happens to my income? It goes. My entire business is built on consistent income. For as long as I can remember, for a decade, I've always wanted at least 20,000 every week in my bank account, 20 grand, 20 grand. Besides some tough times in Bali during COVID, I've always 20 grand, 20 grand, 20 grand, 20 grand, 20 grand, 20 grand. Every week, that was like my threshold. Okay, no matter what. Okay, who would like 20 grand every week in your bank account? Would you like That's cool. It's pretty good number. And not a huge amount of expenses because pretty high profit margins before the VA. The VA business is a high volume business. That's a little bit different, but coaching is a, coaching is a high profit margin business, which is awesome. Um, so you want to double up. So the group program, I've got six month program. So what do I want to make sure happens at the end of six months that I don't lose that income? How do I do that? I always have two programs running. So if my program is six months, okay, I start one this month, I uh, start one next week. When's my next group program going to start? Halfway through, so in three months. We're actually starting this group four weeks later. So my next group program is actually going to be in eight weeks. So we've got one started next week, it'll be eight weeks later. If your group program is three months long, so 12 weeks, when are you going to launch your second group? At the six week mark. Okay, so you launch a group program, which is 12 weeks long. Six weeks later, you start promoting the next, uh, sorry, um, you launch the program, the group program, your first program. Okay, and then you start marketing the next one immediately for six weeks because it starts six weeks later. And then you rotate and rotate and rotate, and then you don't leave lose income. So you've always got two and they're always rotating. And now you can always sell it as your core offer in your program as well. That's if it's a finite, yeah? I uh, get a client call. Okay, that's a shame. We've got like 20 minutes left, but thanks for joining us, Pip. Okay. You're going to miss out on the best part. <laughs> um, by the way, I, like, like I mentioned, I am going to make an offer to just two or three of you guys, a ridiculous offer for our group program coming up as well. So, um, so let's wrap this up. Let's get, we're getting close to the, oh yeah, we made good time in here, man. Thanks so much. Six weeks. Yeah, Jade, six weeks. Good. Go hello. Yep, awesome. Okay. Cool. Any questions on that on the group coaching? Yeah, so, so, so this is built on building 20,000 consistent months. 10 one-on-one -on -one clients, two group programs, 15 to 20 in each. Cycle, 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 consistent. That's true. And you can build upon, build upon, build upon. You're not going to lose. It's one thing to build 20,000. It's another thing to keep it. It's one thing to make 20,000. It's another thing to do it consistently. So fast, yes, but sustainable and consistent. That's the key here as well. Yeah. All good, all good, awesome. Okay, so let's talk about building a team. What team are you going to need for 20,000 a month? Here are the checkpoints that I suggest and recommend. They'll be slightly different for everybody and you'll personalize them because this is not a cookie cutter program. It's not a cookie cutter approach. These are just as an example of what I believe to be the fastest way for the checkpoints to do that, to get to 20K. Most, many of you that follow this will do it much faster than the six months. It's not uncommon for people I work with to do it much faster, depending on how well we're set up in the beginning when we start. So you get to five clients, you want to hire a part-time VA. Okay, so once you've got five clients, if you already have five clients now, let me know. 
We can provide you with an affordable, highly trained VA. They're highly trained in growth producing activities, lead generation, attraction marketing, appointment setting. We also have video editors who can do like Hamozi style video editing. We have EAs and customer service managers, so tier two VAs and social media managers and so forth. They're trained in my systems. They can help you with that as well. Once you've got five clients, it's $10 Aussie per hour. So $6.60 USD an hour, 5.5 quid an hour. So that's just over six euros an hour if you're, in, if you're using euro. Actually, euros and a US dollar are pretty close. 6.30 and 6.60 at the moment. That's interesting. Um, so once you get five clients, you want to be a because you don't want to be making calls to book in appointments and following up people from webinars and creating Facebook events and you, you can't be everywhere and anywhere. And you want to be using all five social media platforms and sending email, but you can't do that. It takes too long. You want to do a video once and then have your team get it everywhere. Do a blog post once, get your team get it everywhere. Now, if you're smart, you'll actually have your team turn your video onto blogs so you don't have to write anything. I don't write my blogs. My team turn it into a uh, into my videos into blogs. Yeah. Kelly, it's past your bedtime. Okay, cool. Good night. <laughs> so step one is I suggest at five clients get a VA part time, twenty hours per week, and hire a bookkeeper and accountant. So once you've got ten clients, some people say, "Should I get one now?" Well, you don't have income yet, and your structure is not that important right now. <laughs> Excuse me. You need revenue. So get first of all, get five clients. Okay. So you set up your avatar niche. You do launch, get your five clients. Let's get a VA. Awesome. Leverage, more exposure, more attention, more appointments. Somebody's booking appointments for you. You're waking up to them. We get you to 10 clients. Your book's all one-on-one -on -one clients. Now hire a bookkeeper and an account. Get only a four one get a bookkeeper. It's more affordable. And they can help you uh, organize your taxes. Tax, lot, so many people are so far behind on taxes, not reporting it, taking care of it, using zero or something. Get a bookkeeper. 10 or 20 bucks an hour, pretty cheap. Get an account and help you out with that. Set you up for long-term success. Say, this is my goal. I'm building 20,000. What's my best structure? What what platform do I need to manage my funds? And Yeah. Okay. So you've got 10 clients. You increase your VA to full-time at this point. Okay. They're booking you your all your appointments for you, taking care of your social media. Okay. Now your book's solid. You're also launching group coaching. My suggestion when you launch group coach, if you're a coach, is to hire a coach. Now, you might be thinking, I'm not ready for a coach, or when it really want a coach, or whatever it might be. Here's why you want to have at least one coach and one salesperson. What if you get sick? What if you go to Disney? What if something happens? What if somebody passes away in the family, you've got to go to a funeral? The business stops. If the business is at the mercy of what's happening in your personal life, you'll never have a real business. So having a coach and a salesperson there to, to take care of that, that will really help. Also, if you have a coach, you know, business coach, life coach, fitness coach, therapist, healer, and you hire one, you can double your income. There's two of you. You can have double the amount of clients. You can cut back on your one-on-one -on -one if you want. And when you hire a coach, it increases your credibility. And you know what I do? And what I recommend you do? You do double your price and your existing price becomes your new coach's price, which is where you saw my tears before. Not tears as in, in tears. Yeah. Now, if you're in the coaching space, I recommend that your coach is also the salesperson. Why? Because if the person that is doing the sales is going to be servicing, they're probably going to do a better job. They're also going to have a better understanding of the product and the service that they're selling. So, for example, you're a business coach and you hire a business coach. Um, what happens is uh, you do the content, you do the events, you do the generic leads. The virtual assistant books in the appointment, books them in with your coach. Coach sells them makes the commission, the service them. You remove yourself from the process. Your business is now growing without you and you're also making passive income. How cool is that? Right? So I suggest doing that. If you're not in the coaching space, you might hire and you might keep it separate and have a coach and a salesperson separately. I would do that during the launch of your first group. Okay? After you've launched that group and it's in place, you've got a coach, you've got a salesperson, uh, you got a VA, you got appointments, you got a lot of leverage. There's growth happening without you. You got passive income coming through. I would hire a second VA, and I would separate the roles, and I'd have one person just doing appointment setting only, and the other person's kind of like like my annoyance. She's your PA, customer service manager, maybe takes care of client accounts. Like we got hundreds of clients. I want to take care of all of those accounts, missed payments, and all that. Who wants to take care of all that? I see. Want someone to take care of that? Your schedule and stuff like that. Okay, um, and then. 
once you've launched your second or during the launch of your second group, if you're running a cyclical, that's when you may, if you want to, if this is optional, hire a second coach and salesperson. The reason why I suggest always having two coaches and two salespeople ultimately, what if one quits? If you've got one coach and one quits, you now have to take all that workload. If you've got one salesperson, they quit. You've now got to do all the sales. So normally when I hire people, you'll notice I often will hire two people at a time, two salespeople or two coaches. Or if, So if it doesn't work, I've still got one. So that's why I do that. And that's the basic checklist. So for 20000 a month in our program, we suggest two VAs, one can be part-time, at least one coach and at least one salesperson. If you have that, you're going to sleep well at night. You're going to have consistent income. You're going to have a leveraged business. You can go away and still make money. Emergencies can happen in the business and the business isn't at the mercy of you. And you have leverage and freedom and attention and life is going to be a very different life. Now, that can be slightly different for everyone, but that's what I recommend. How does everyone feel about those checkpoints? Anyone have any questions? What would you pay this coach? Awesome question. Glad you asked. So here's my suggestion for paying for coaches. Now, every country is different. As a contractor, contracting laws are different to employee laws. Again, very different from country to country. My suggestion is uh, for the salesperson, when you're selling, you'll notice that when I sell anything, there's a kickstart. Do I have it installed? Everything I sell has a kickstart fee. Okay, so um, the all of these, uh, the coaching has a, a kickstart fee. So if you work with me, it's $3.99 kickstart. If you work with another, another coach, it's $199. If you join the group coaching program, it's $99 kickstart fee. Um, if you look at my VA, anyone that's signed up for the VA service, there's a $20 kickstart fee. That kickstart fee or onboarding fee is actually the commission for the salesperson. So if it's a coach that's selling and they sell this program here, the $199 kickstart fee that the new client pays is the commission to pay for that salesperson. That's that part. In regards to the, the, the delivery of the coaching, we I, I just pay them half. It's just nice and easy. It's nice and clean. Um, and it just works really well, you know. So uh, for this $199 a week here. And I'm very transparent. All of our guys know all this stuff, right? Even our VAs, I'm very transparent again. You guys pay $10 an hour for the VAs. We give them half, five bucks. Because they get the easy part. They got to do work, but we've got to find the clients. We've got all the expense. Who's got more expenses than that share? We've got all these CRMs. We've got all these ads. We've got to put like, the VA business is run as like a non-for-profit. All money is put back into expansion, advertising and serv servicing clients, customers, team. Um, so 50% is just a really good round number. Yeah, we found out. Yeah. Uh, does that help, bro? Wait. Is that Glenn? Hey, Glenn. How you doing? Any other questions on that? Any other questions on building team? When you're ready for a VA, shoot me a message and uh, I can share more how it works. Here we go. We've got a question here. Adrian, that's what I need to do. Hire and train coaches and VAs. My clients... Uh, my clients, people have helped get results. However, trying to promote myself as a coach is difficult. to get lots of rejection. Yeah. Also, different people have different strengths and weaknesses. If you are terrible at sales, get a bloody salesperson immediately. But typically, the business owner is better at sales because you're more invested, emotionally committed, etc. It's your business. Side note: I will say this: I have done over a thousand interviews. I'm I'm not over exaggerating. I've literally done over a thousand interviews in the last eighteen years. Um, at one point, I, I was running a team of about 150 personal trainers. Um, and then I owned three of my own personal training studios. I've done over a thousand interviews offline and online. Most people, they'll collect a resume and they'll look at resume. I never looked at resumes. Why did I never look at somebody's resume? Can anyone tell me? Why did I never look at anyone's resume? What's on the resume? The shit they want you to know. <laughs> What's not on the resume? The shit they don't want you to know. That's why they didn't put it on there. So what I might do, yeah, they can lie. I choose to believe in people and trust people, not because I'm uh, uh, naive, but because I just choose to see the best in people because that's a reflection of me. Uh, what people say and think about me is nothing to do with me, very little to do with me and a lot about them, yeah. <laughs> on the, yeah, 100%, Jade, yeah. Um, but they can lie, 100%. But on the resume, what I used to do is I'd have a list of their jobs experience, a list of their references, I'm like, okay, they went to this job. They had this job, but they didn't put them as a reference. Let's call them and find out why not. 
But what I'm looking for is I'm looking for things you can't teach. I'm not looking for experience and qualifications, all that. I'm looking for the bare minimum, yes, but I'm looking for values, beliefs, personality, things you cannot teach. Um, so that's number one. Um, and number two is people, um, people, we're never ready to hire, right? The only thing that's stopping you from hiring somebody right now is the story you're telling yourself why you're not ready. You don't have enough money? We can hire a salesperson commission only. It costs you nothing. You can get a salesperson right now. Can't afford a VA? Bullshit. I call BS. <laughs> Can't find 100, 200 bucks a week. If that is true, that's a problem. We need to fix that, right? Um, so it's the BS story. So it's normally us. We're going to get over a week. I had another point. What was my point here? Uh, I don't need to... so that's what it was. Thank you. So a lot of people in the beginning, this was my original point, when they hire people, are looking for mini me's. I'm here to tell you, after having thousands of people in my employment and working for me over the last 18 years or so, there is no mini Adrian. There's no mini Jade. There's no mini Jason. They do not exist. When I was hiring personal trainers in the gym, I would look for mini me's. I would look for diversity. I want a bodybuilder, a powerlifter, calisthenics person, a yoga instructor, a triathlete. I want diversity. So they work together as a team, there's completeness, holisticness, harmony in the team. You'll also notice I run my business as a matriarch system. Does anyone know what that means? It means three quarters of my team and my, our clients are women. Look at the women to men ratio on this call. It's not just because I'm a handsome young fella. <laughs> it's because we built a matriarch system. That's intentional. There's a reason behind that. Talk about that another time. I believe the world should be run as a matriarch system. Three quarters of politics, power, corporations, well, women will be a very different place. Now, men, you can choose to believe whatever you want from that. It's just that uh, I believe that's what harmony is in this third dimension. Yeah, agreed, yeah. Um, so I run my business like a, a, a matriarch system for that purpose. So don't try to look for mini use, and they're not going to be perfect. Be patient with people, okay? Hire fast, but fire slow. Hire fast, but fire slow. Give people the benefit of the doubt. You're looking, you're looking to have a long lifelong business. You're looking for lifelong customers and lifelong team. I'm looking for lifelong people, lifelong team, lifelong customers, lifelong friends and family. You guys, my clients, my team are the family I choose. Lifelong customers, lifelong team, lifelong business. Yeah, think long term. Stop trying to find mini me's. They do not exist. <laughs> find your unicorn, like Noemi. She's amazing. Uh, we're just making my controversial sisters. Uh, yeah, so when you're ready for a VA, you got five clients, shoot me a message. We can jump on a call. We'll have a chat. I'll show how it all works. It is brilliant. They're all trained by me, handpicked by me. There's an online, they get through an 80 hour training before they start with you. Almost everything I've shared with you that they've had training on, um, they all, they're all being trained at go high level. This next month uh, in uh, May, they'll all be trained in ChatGBT. Uh, yeah, they're very cool. Highly trained, very well looked after. We call them angels for a reason, and they're a game changer. Yeah, they really are. So as we wrap this up, uh, I want to talk about like the next step. So you've got you've got the uh, checkpoints now. Let's take a step back, look at those checkpoints, checkpoints, and okay, what's next? What next? And I'm going to offer just two or three of you a ridiculous offer. So don't go anywhere. Even if you're a part of that offer, even if you're not interested in the offer, be a student and just recognize how I do things. And I think it'll be a great lesson for you in moving forward as well. It's happening on Facebook. Byron, hey, how you doing? Good to see you. Yeah. We were just talking about you before. Hope you're well. Um, what are you doing here, by the way? <laughs> go have fun with the family. Um, so what now? Before I ask to talk about what now, like what is this? Uh, yep, yep. Uh, quick question. What is everybody's biggest take? What's the one thing that I've shared with you today that you're going to implement, you're excited about, you believe is going to be the one big thing that's going to move the needle? What's the one big, biggest thing from today you've drawn you're going to execute or action immediately you think is going to help move the needle? What's the biggest thing? Four KPIs. That's your entire business right there. That is your business. So I'm glad you recognize the importance of that because it's not very exciting or juicy for a lot of people. I, I love, you know, my, my tracking sheets, I never close. They're open right now on my computer. I never close my tracking sheets on my, my financial tracking sheets and my SOP tracking sheets, KPI tracking sheets. I never closed. I'm obsessed with them. River, that 20K per month is possible. I'm glad you got that. 
That was the main frame for this. Instilling the belief that 20K is possible for each of you. You only need two clients a week, guys. You only need two clients a week. It's not just possible, it's highly probable. James, you don't have a system? <laughs> yeah, most people don't. If you had one, you'd probably be making 20,000, which is the beginning. Terry, build my pillars and look at gaining more leads. Nice. So one-on-one -on -one launch strategies, awesome. I'll post the one-on-one -on -one and the group launch trainings full in the group tomorrow. Everybody else? Okay, cool. So what now? Let's wrap this up, okay? So let's take a step back. What what now? The very first thing I'll do after this workshop, or you can sleep tonight, maybe do it tomorrow. Start with your VA on Monday. Yeah, awesome. The very first thing you want to do is set the rule. Is number one is make a decision. You're going to go all in to hit twenty thousand a month by the October first, and set a reward to that. And take those two pieces of information and put them on a vision board or somewhere where you look at them and think about them and dream about them, scheme them all day, every day. And make that the magnificent obsession every day. That's the first thing I would do right now. Set, I've been in a place before where I've set an alarm every hour to make sure I remember, remember, I just until it became a habit, right? it literally became my obsession. Then I would refine your sales SOPs. Look at your avatar, your niche, your pitch deck, your systems, your scripts, and everything. I'll put some free stuff in uh, the group tomorrow if you check out. Refine those. Once you've done that, do a relaunch. Do a relaunch. I'll post the training in, in tomorrow. Do a full relaunch of your one on one after you've rebranded it. Then, Optimize and set up your Facebook group, model mine, check out mine. Once you've done that, launch your next event that's not a part of the launch. Your next event. Always have at least an event every month. Once you've done that, use my funnels and set up your offers, your five offers, and then hire a VA. If you use that as your checkpoints, even if you're not a paying client. Right? Now, if you're in our business coaching program, group or one-on-one, I'm going to hold your hand and take you through personally anyway. If you're a VA client, uh, highly recommend following that. And if you're not a client, again, highly recommend following that. Uh, if you're a business coaching client of some, uh, well, I'm going to do this personally with you anyway. So uh, yeah, watch my YouTube. There's so much stuff on YouTube. Oh my goodness, yeah. Um, so that's what's now. So what I'd like to do is who, who would like it if I was to personally work with you to create your scripts, sales SOPs, put your program together? Who would like it? If I was to personally work with you to create your fire funnels, to better optimize the social media, to set up your events, who would like it if I was to, with you, launch your business? Who would like to be able to do all that together? If you'd like to be able to do all that together, I've given you the checkpoints, but you want me to be a part of that journey, to hold your hand and work with you personally, to move through those checkpoints, I'm going to offer just two people a very special offer right now. Only two today. Uh, don't go anywhere because it's the juiciest part. Okay. And there's also lessons in here for you guys to learn as well as students, right? So here's the exciting thing. I've talked about this a bit. Next, uh, this Thursday, April the 6th, 8 a.m., we start our first weekly one-hour session of our new group business coaching program. This is the first group program I've done since COVID. That's how long it's been since I've done a group program, okay? And it's it's designed to, it's designed to go from wherever you are now to add 20,000 a month in six months. So look at everything I just went through and more, and we do it together. Here's what you get in this group program. A lot of the guys that are on here now, uh, you can feel the drum roll. <laughs> a lot of the guys that are on here now are in the program. Here is what you get in the group program. Every week, we have a one-hour coaching session. So it's at this time. So it's 8 a.m. every Thursday morning. So the time we started this workshop is what time starts. So if you're on this workshop, it's a good time for you. That's not an accident. That's why I did it at this time. So I did it so Every week, you get to spend an hour with me. We do a 45-minute group coaching call. We've got 19 in the program at the moment. And then we do a 10 or 15-minute Q&A. So you have a live Q&A after that. We create a six-month planner with your weekly KPIs. So those numbers we talked about, we personalize and work those out. All your marketing plans and strategies you need. All the SLs, SOPs, and scripts, we've set those up. Now, there's myself. You get 24-7 access to me. There's an inner circle with all the other students. We'll connect you with a running buddy, myself and three other business coaches, um, Lisa, Terry, and Bianca, will be in there as assistant coaches. And they're going to be on every week as well because it's part of their training for the new program. I've just recently refined and updated the program, so there's a lot of new modules and stuff in there. So myself, three assistant coaches in a circle, 
there's a playbook. You've probably already got that. You get access to not one, not two, but three courses. You'll get uh, uh, with all the templates and tools and resources and scripts to save you time as well. That's what you get. Uh, yep, you're already in the program. Awesome. But stick around because you'll, you know, you can learn from this as a, a presentation. Here's the outline of the six months. Now, what's different about this program, the main thing is, you know, when you do a coaching program, people go, go do, go create your avatar, your pitch deck, your scripts. Awesome, done. Now go do this, go do this, go do this. But this is normally a 12-week program. I've turned it into, I've doubled it and turned it into a six-month program. So we, we have the coaching session to create the script or the process or the SOP or the funnel. In the second session, we actually look at it and refine it and give you feedback and we do it together. So we're doing everything together. Session one is we create your success blueprint, your laptop, uh, your lifestyle design plan, bucket list and vision board. Cool, right? Fun stuff. Um, now, there's a lot of mindset stuff throughout it as well. We'll talk about the mental items program as well. Uh, in the second and third session is avatar messaging and pitch deck. We create them together. Third and fourth session is we create your sales script and your pre-qualifying process together. Session five and six, we do the launch together and we get your book solo in one-on-one. -on -one. That's the first step. If you're already booked solo one on one, then we launch group. Okay. Seven and eight, we optimize your social media. Okay. Now, at this stage, you should all have VAs. Now, your VAs will join this program every week. So your VA is going to join the program, be with you, and be able to help you execute all these things together, which is super cool, right? Session nine and 10, we map out your 30 day social media plan. I teach you how to keep that going on going. And we get the content going, the science of content. Section 10, 11, we launch your online event campaigns, webinars, masterclasses, challenges. We work out those and we launch them as campaigns. 12 and 13, we set up your five offers and funnels. 14 and 15, this is a business coaching program. So we do budgeting and forecasts and time management and SOPs. We set that up as well. Um, and then we launch your group coaching program. Now, if you've already got a group program, we launch the second program here. So it still works. We look at scaling and building your team. And then from there, expanding 20K above and beyond. How does that look? What does everyone like most about that program? What's everyone like most about that program? Cindy, amazing and awesome. And I'm healed and ready to start my biz. I'll contact you. Awesome. Thanks, Cindy. Yep. Awesome. Uh, Kerry, I'll let you know when you to get your VA to join. We'll get your VA to join from... Uh, session five probably from the launch process now i'll help you with the launch your vas because you're planning your sales sfps they won't help you with you'll set that up so they can join once we get to launch they'll join because they'll help you execute they'll help you with your launch you want a va to help you with your launch so you can get freaking everywhere on all platforms you don't have time to do that right um no you're not paying them in that time no 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 the way i look at it is uh, like they're getting this program for free. They're getting to join the business coaching program for free. They're getting free training. They love that idea. They're excited about it. I've already talked to them about it, right? Um, so with this program, guys, how much do you think it's worth? How much do you think, how much do you think it's valued at? How much do you think other people are charging for this program? For a program like this, how much do you think other people are charging? Kerry says 10K. How much do you think other people are charging for this program? Any one person? I can tell you after researching, it's between 10 and 20K. Jade says 6,500 to 13,000. That's very specific. Yeah. Between 10 and 15,000 was the average. Some more, some less. Between 10 and 15,000. Yeah. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm going to offer two people today, not an irresistible, but a ridiculous offer. This is the first time running it as a six month program. First one since COVID. So we're doing it as a, a, a ridiculous offer. Just two people. For the first two people that private message me on Facebook, this is what the offer is today. Normally, it's going to be $4,500 up front or 24 payments of $199 per week. By the way, it's going to be double that for the next one. So we're going to double that. So we're doing a 50% off deal. We're going to slash another 50% off for the first two people to private message me right now on Facebook. The first two people to private message me on Facebook right now, it's a one-time payment of $19.97 Aussie which is about 1,330 USD. 1,330 USD for 24 weeks of me with a one-hour coaching session every week is ridiculous. 66 USD per week, 1,330 USD up from. Pounds, quid, 55 pounds each week, 
1,100 pounds. Euros, that's about the same as USD, which is ridiculous. So the first two people to private message me right now, you'll be able to get that 50% off deal. You can pay 99 Aussie per week or 19.97 up front, pay it up, up, up front. 90.97 up front, you don't have to pay a cent ever again. There's no hidden fees, no other costs, anything like that. That's it. One time and you're done. But I would act faster. We'll go quick, even though there's only about 15 people between Facebook and the call left. First of people to private message will get that. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, can I, should I, can I not? If nothing changes, nothing changes. If you do for the next six months what you did the last six months, what's your business life going to look like in six months from now? You've also got to look at the return on investment. How much do you charge per client? If you charge $200 per client, then I help you get just one client. You've doubled your return on investment. I'm not going to help you get one client. Let's say that you don't hit 20000 you hit half that, half that amount, and you make 10000 extra month. What's it going to mean for you, your life, your business? That's going to change things for you. And up until now, you're not getting the result you want for, for some reason. You're here for a reason. You're still listening to me for a reason. Isn't it time that you made a decision to go all in for you, your family, for your business, and to do this? You get to be coached by me an hour each week and 24-7 access to me. You get to be part of an exclusive group of other coaches, consultants, therapists, and agency owners going just through exactly what you are. And you're going to have a running buddy and everything you need to be successful. There's really no reason or need that you shouldn't be successful. So simply be one of the first two people to private message me right now. Just let me know if you want to do the payment plan 99 or the upfront 1997 Aussie and we can get you started. We'll give you access to the inner circle, send you the welcome letter and give you access to the pre-study, the courses and everything, get the ball rolling. My guys are already on that pre-study. That pre-study, Yeah, a lot of the guys are already in here uh, that are already doing it. Uh, yeah, awesome. And that's it, guys. I want to just wrap it up and say, whatever you choose to do, like if you're one of the first two people to private message me, excited to have you in there. If not, also cool. It makes no difference to me. We are starting next Thursday. Not much time left uh, to get the pre-study done. But um, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you for allowing me to serve you. Um, uh, I'm proud of you for showing up. I respect you for going all in. Three hours is a long time to listen to me too. So, <laughs> but let me get in your head. Let me help build your belief. As the saying goes, you know, if you hang around me long enough, I'm going to talk, I'm going to convince you and talk you into believing in yourself that, hey, 100K, I want you to think about 100K, 100K, 100K. I want to see all you make 100K months. And be free, spend time with family, travel the world, do things you love. Because life's too short to stress and worry about money. It's not that important. It's not even in the top 10 things that are important. I don't believe anyway. So anyway, I appreciate you. I really hope that you take the time now to take action. That you take the time to implement. Knowledge is not power, it's the application of knowledge. And remember, there's two types of people in life. The first type of person is the person lying on their deathbed. With all their friends, family, and loved ones around. And everyone's in tears. And you're lying there about to leave this world with regrets. You're not ready to leave this world. You were scared to face your fears and to take action and make mistakes. And you didn't get to travel the world and do the things you wanted to and leave the legacy you knew you could and fulfill your potential. And now you've got to die with regrets. And the second type of person in this world is the person lying on their deathbed. I'm sorry, but none of us are getting out of the scene called a life alive. But this time, you have a big smile on your face. All your friends and family and loved ones are around. And they're all in tears. And you look down at your grandchild, and your grandchild looks up at you and says, why are you smiling? And you look down at grandchild, and you say with a big smile, you know what? I loved, I lived, I learned, I built a legacy, I made mistakes, I traveled the world, I told people how much I loved them, I got to see my grandchildren grow up. I've lived life to the fullest. And I'm ready to leave this world with no regrets and pass the torch to you. You have a choice right now to choose to be the first person or choose to be the second person, to have the short-term pain of discipline and to do the work or the long-term pain of regret. That choice is yours. I've done my job. I've showed up to the best I can. Hopefully it was enough to serve you. Hopefully you got value from that. And I just hope that you take action because you're not yet where you want to be, but I believe you can be. But you've got to make a choice to make a change, to make a decision to go all in, do whatever it takes for as long as it takes to turn your dreams to reality. So all of you, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your uh, energy. And I look forward to seeing everybody very soon. Have an amazing weekend, guys. Thank you so much.